Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video with Village 55 um, <clears throat> And today we're going to be doing a bit of ETS2 guys So as you guys know, West Balkans DLC just dropped a couple of days ago um, I did uh, try and get a video done last night uh, Which was with two days into the DLC now I was with my girlfriend on the day it released So obviously couldn't do any recording then But I did try and do a recording yesterday And I'll be honest um, I just... I was pretty drawn out, I was long drawn out, um, tired, worn out, um, I've had an unreal, um, okay, like, it, these past couple of months have been so chaotic, it's been unreal, guys, so, uh, yeah, um, I'll be honest, I just started falling asleep during through, like, half the recording, I was fine to stay awake, um, so I think, you know what, it was like four hours worth of footage, um, which was unfortunate, but I had to scrap it. So we're going to start again. Hopefully this will be a lot better. I'm with Hightower, Stevens and Briggs um, in Discord. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to really quickly, I just want to show you uh, where we're at. So um, we're in Batola and we're going to Tirana. Um, so just a short journey, guys. Nothing too strenuous to start off with, but one thing I really want to show you guys, because like this is incredible, right? Is the landscape, okay? Just amazing. I've already got a um, already got a screenshot of that, which I just found to be incredible. But uh, yeah. Anyways, we are in the Scania R five hundred or six. No, I think we're in a six twenty. Yep, we're in a six twenty today, guys. So uh, yeah, we're gonna kick this off. Get on the way. And uh, see how we get on. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back. Well, good. Thank you. Much. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! Freak, stop talking about us. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know it is. You talk about the devil, he'll appear. Yeah, no, I'm doing a uh, recording on ETS2. Just doing the uh, West Balkans DLC. Can you, can you guys can you guys see it on the uh, stream? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not watching it. Yeah. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Bad. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Bloody yeah, hell. Uh, I'm leaving now because Briggs is getting. Who put that sign there? Exploding Bloody hell. Happy. excited for this I DLC because the there's like I've seen like one or two of the gameplay videos about for ETS 2 um and some of the like super narrow roads that there are on here should it's I'm, I'm really excited to give those a try if we get the opportunity to so yeah we'll see how we get on Um, I think you have to, if you type in NVIDIA Shadow Play or something like that, that's what does it. Yeah, I was trying to capture a clip of me when I jumped a car. Oh. You know, the, the 30 second replay thing. Yeah, it'll be, that should be a hotkey. That should be bound to a hotkey, mate. Where's your OHT? Watching one of my tires roll down a hill gently. <laughs> you and rolling down hills tends to be a uh, well, no, it's, it's just, one thing. Of, <laughs> just one of my tires. I'm I'm out on Substantia Road down in the oil fields. I'm, I'm gently nudging one of my tires into traffic. <laughs> oh, it killed it. Wow. 
Yeah, cheers, mate. Uh, 9389 is where I'm standing next to. See on your on your screen, you don't have the NVE extra vegetation that I do. No, because I don't have NVE. Because I'm actually hiding in the milkweed. Not my extra not. I know, right? Wood. <laughs> this is why you run duels. So that when you get a flat, you can still run on the inside tire. I want high behind the side, he'll never see me. Where'd it go? Oh my god! <laughs> AI logic. <laughs> this pipe has anything bad in it. <sighs> Things just there to keep you from going up on the road. Up on the hill. What are they trying to hide up there? I'm not gonna lie, one thing that strikes me with this Balkans DLC, guys, is the landscape. Is it actually from, uh, SCS? Yeah, like, the thing is, is that yesterday, when I, because I, I was saying this just on my intro while I was deafened, um, I tried to do a recording last night on it, and I had, like, four hours worth of footage, but I was just too tired to... Oh, no, we want to keep left there, never mind. Um... I was just too tired and I was starting to fall asleep towards the end of it, so the footage wasn't really that great. But the one thing I do remember reiterating quite a bit was actually how authentic um, the setting felt, like the landscaping and the towns and cities and everything like that. Um, like they've actually, unlike in other DLCs I've noticed like they've actually put in like little parked cars and placeholders and stuff they've actually taken a they've, they've actually from what it seems like they've taken a leaf out of pro mods's book or they've taken a page out of pro mods's book in relation to putting placeholders and just random objects in the roadway that you have to navigate around just to give yourself that extra bit of observation um, unlike when I just spanked it straight into that sign at the quarry we've just left. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, I'll have the stream up if you want to check it out, High Tower. but you tell me. It does seem really authentic. Well, the, the, the later versions of the maps they've been putting out have been uh, high quality. Yeah, like they've been, they've absolutely. Put, put mod, they put, put variation and shit in, in their, their mods on yeah. purpose. And the thing is, is that you'll find like a lot of stuff, while it is similar, um, I mean, because obviously like, for example, we can call a road a road and everything like that, but you'll notice like the markings on the road um, are different or if there's like potholes and stuff like that in certain parts of the country or regions that we go to, you notice it all. And the one thing I've just seen there now as well, but there was one, uh, there was one sign in particular actually where I saw um, in Albania, which was a map of Albania. And one thing I've just noticed there in that directional sign was a sign for Greece. So I'm just wondering if they're setting out Easter eggs to do Greece next. Probably, no, no. Yeah. Um, I have a feeling they'll probably end up finishing up doing the entirety of the US where you stay and then end up going up to Canada. Which is yeah. That's your plan. Because, yeah, Oops. let's be honest. They will they they make before. the money system. Then before they finish up Canada, and they're like, what do we do now? Alaska. Oh, yeah. Alaska, what do we do now? Mexico. Yeah, quite. That's the CS's plan. They've already stated that they want to do all the states, all. Yeah. What and, would be considered North America? Yeah, and the thing is as well... American trucks in, so it's not just the US, it's America. Yeah, and the, thi and the thing is as well, actually, one thing you'll notice with ETS2 is, like, you've got Euro Truck Simulator 2, which general, the general understanding is it covers the whole of the European countries, but, well, we're going into the Baltic Sea regions, Russia, um, West Balkans have just come out now, you know, other sort of 
they're still European countries, but they're sort of outside the most commonly known, but now they're sort of straying into non-European countries as well, which, I mean, obviously here is evident. I was going to say, they stopped doing the Russian stuff because of the current Yeah, exactly. Going yeah, the conflict's going on there ain't great. So they've, they've put, put a, uh, they've put a hey, hold man. on that for now. Yeah, they've put a plug on that. Um, but yeah, no, it's like, but yeah, no, anyone, I'll have to say actually, from what I was playing last night, bearing in mind I'd only seen one gameplay video and the trailer for West Balkans DLC because I didn't really want to spoil it for myself, guys. And I have to say, actually, West Balkans DLC wasn't really one that I was overly excited for, but I have to say it's, yeah, no, it's genuinely the best DLC SCS have come out with to date. They really have. Um, oh yeah, I was about to say actually, I remember as well, like, if there's anyone who plays ETS2 or even, I'm not sure if they've got this implemented in American Truck Sim yet, but has anyone got their, has anyone got the features enabled where it's like the emergency collision avoidance system and also the um, adaptive cruise control? Do any of you guys use that at all? I don't use it, but it's in the ETS. I just I'm not yeah. that up, but I'm I'll be honest. I, I tried it. It is absolute <laughs> rubbish. It's just, yeah. From, like place coming, crash. Uh, genuinely, coming from a guy who actually drives a truck um, in reality, obviously, um, the... Yeah, whoever the developer was who put in the feature for adaptive cruise control and the emergency collision avoidance system, please revisit it because, like, for example, uh. if in reality, I'm driving along the motorway, I want to make a lane change, I have adaptive cruise control enabled for a three-second follow or something like that. You can program all this in, right? Yeah. <laughs> If I change lanes and there's a car in breach of that three second distance, the truck just lets off the accelerator and brings it down to a, to, you know, a slow crawl or a slower speed than what the vehicle is in front, okay? And then once that three second, three second following distance has been attained, it just maintains it. SCS's version of that, if that was done in SCS conditions, I'd lane change over, there's a car in breach for that three second follow distance, guess what? Slams, slams, on, on, the slams, on, the, slams on the anchors and, and puts me to a dead stop in the motorway in an active lane. Oh, you, you haven't met my Western Star then, because it does <laughs> the same fucking thing. What, your Western Star does that? Yeah, so the adaptive cruise control, it has uh, a camera t mounted at the top of the, uh, of the, um, like a LiDAR camera at the top of the, uh, the windshield. Okay. And then it has an actual uh, radio frequency radar mounted in the bumper so it can get a, a 3D view of what's in front of it. Right, okay. And so I just leave it set at 3.6 second following distance. Uh huh. But see, here's the problem the LiDAR can't see that the car is in a lane next to it so if the car is in front of you and it turns off into a um, into oh, a turn lane yes i know what you're slowing saying because it down in the lane it, it it continues to track it and then before they even make their turn the truck's already slammed on it's on my brakes yeah and it's annoying as fuck. That's why I hate driving during the day with the adaptive cruise control. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, so that's if a vehicle but, in front of you is lane changing, though, isn't it? Yeah, and so and it, not so much lane changing, but when they're 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 making that turn because people down here for some reason the turn lanes aren't all that long, so they start slowing down in the travel lanes. Yeah. Even though they don't really fucking need to because they're driving a car. Oh, um, hello. I've got to go to the X-ray hall. Okay, this is interesting. Because that door just opened. Um, oh, that's good. The uh, some of the uh, London studio script will work with Cuban Core. I, I just got. I just got to uh, ask a quick question. We're getting. We're no. getting told to go into the X-ray hall. What the fuck are they expecting to find? <laughs> uh, they, they're X-raying the trailer to see what's on the inside. I was going to say yeah, they'll X-ray the trailer because you know how 
Freaking people in that area are sitting oh, on no, trailers. It's, no, it's, yeah. it is, no it, it's, it's not just that, but it's a way for them to peer inside the trailer without having to break the seal on the trailer and then you have to put a new seal on and document it on your bill, bill of lading. Yeah, but I'm in a flatbed. He, he's, yeah, he's got a flatbed though, that's the other thing. Well, maybe they're just checking to make sure that a pallet of whatever you're hauling is. Uh, it's two stones. Uh, I suppose, yeah. They could be, have they, to be fake stones. Yeah. Have they checked it? I don't know. Puts it on a fucking way station. Yeah, it's told me to stop my engine, but. We're well, still scanning you. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like, what? What's going this will on? take five to six business days. Yeah, apparently. What's going on? Sort it. Let me out. I've had enough. Let me in. Let me in. Yeah, genuinely, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's not letting me out now. <coughs> I'm You've worried. Been trapped. Yeah, I have been trapped. I've been finessed here. What's going on? It's not like a marker that tells you exactly where to stop. No, like it, it just else. said stop. Stop your engine. Oh, here we go. Stop the engine. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice little cutscene. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was panicking at that point. I was just like, hang on a minute, what's going on? <laughs> Happy days. Right, anyways. Well, so the UK is gonna implement that shit on the borders. <laughs> yeah, right. Never. Yeah, that'd be um, a smart decision on our fucking postcard. Probably. Alright, we're going around mm, here, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, no, the, um... What was it? So, yeah, the... Yeah, the way the adaptive cruise control works on that, like, ours have the same sort of issue, where if there's a vehicle lane changing in front of us, like, coming off for services, for whatever reason, the adaptive cruise control will read it, uh, read that vehicle as still in our lane so as soon as they start braking it then activates the emergency collision avoidance as well with it which is an issue but yeah i'm more talking if you are um if you are driving your or sorry if you are changing lanes yourself um you know the car's just maintaining its speed doing its own thing you can quite clearly see they are you know, sort of at a similar sort of speed to you. Um, well, then, it, yeah. No, so here's the thing. With my truck, I've had the collision warning go off off of a road barrier on a turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not what I'm talking about. Like, I'm not talking about where it's detecting false positives or anything like that. Just purely that scene where that situation where you change lanes, there's a car within the three second following gap. And your truck, your truck doesn't slam on the anchors, does it, or does it? Or does it just slow itself down slightly to maintain that three second following gap? Uh, no, it, it, it'll start to slow down. Uh-huh. Uh, sometimes it'll start to slow down and then it'll panic. Right. See, ours don't do that, but like... What I'm saying is that on ETS2 or on ATS as well, I'm assuming at this point, if you had that similar situation, you've just lane changed, there's someone within that three second following gap or whatever, ETS2 logic, it's a, it, it triggers a collision avoidance and brings you to a dead stop in the active lane on a motorway. Which is just a safety issue within itself. Yeah, like what would happen there is just, it, the truck would say, oh yeah, there's a vehicle within, you know, within the three second following gap, I'm going to slow down. I'm not going to bring you to a dead set. No panic here, I'll, I'll handle it. Just give me a couple seconds here. Whereas, if, if the, and on a similar sort of situation as well, if the if there was a situation where a car in front or a vehicle in front slams on its anchors for whatever reason, um, in fact, I'll, I'll describe a situation to you. So, for context, ETS-2, as soon as any sort of emergency collision avoidance is activated, it doesn't give a fuck, it just slams the brakes on all the way until you're at a dead stop, which, again, is sort of unrealistic. I get 
I get it, there's probably limited programming options for the game, depending on the game engine at the minute, but at the same time, here's an example. Like, I was going south on the A1 from, uh, from the A66, and I was somewhere in like Nottingham or Leicestershire on, on my way to London, yeah. and the A1 carriageway both north and south, in between, like some of the Nottingham and Leicestershire junctions, like the slip roads to get on, they're shallow, as in you barely have enough room to fit an HGV in the lane of the slip road, but then they're also short, like you don't have enough run up distance or anything like that. Bearing in mind, some of these slip roads, even cars struggle to merge safely on because they're that short and they're that shallow. I was I was following a Jaguar, um, lane one, going down uh, the A1, and there's a car that's wanting to merge on. Now, it was pretty unfortunate because the Jaguar was trying to flash, uh, I think it was a, it was either a VW or a Toyota of some description, it was a hatchback car. Um, the Jaguar was trying to give way to allow that hatchback on, and Unfortunately, the Jaguar was just sort of not far behind that um, its hatchback couldn't see the Jaguar flashing its headlights to give the indication, you know, I'm letting you through. Um, so this hatchback sees this Jag coming down as well as the HGV behind it, me, um, and starts braking, which in turn the Jaguar then slams on its anchors as well. Because the hatchback sees the Jaguar slam on its anchors and then in turn panics because they don't have enough power to use the run-up to then get ahead of the Jag. Um, so they then slam on their brakes, Jaguar does the same, and this is all happening within seconds. Now, I've already hit the brakes, but obviously I've hit the brakes um, pretty, pretty harshly, but not enough to, because I don't want to obviously shift my load. The Jaguar had lane two as an option and didn't take it because at that point they're panicking. At yeah. this point, um, you know, my decision making was to go on the anchors as well because I, I wasn't going to risk a lane change with such short notice and such short decision making time. But what I've realised is, um, as I'm now stopping in time, because the collision avoidance is now also activated, um, hatchbacks then obviously just booted it and mustered all of its power to get onto the carriageway. The Jaguar is then followed in tow. And as I've preempted the hatchback, um, as I've preempted the hatchback to go up the uh, carriageway, I'm thinking, right, the Jaguar's going to fall. I'm going to ease off the brakes here. As I've eased off the brakes, the collision avoidance has said, no, nope, you're still, you're still too close. I'm still keeping the brakes on. And then as the Jaguar started accelerating, I've started accelerating. The truck's gone underway again. But I didn't realise actually how involved those systems were to be honest um you know they will yeah they will override how much you are braking by they will and obviously they'll completely kill the accelerator so you can't overpower it or anything like that but yeah it, it was actually like oh i'm safe now collision voice no you're not i'm gonna keep you slowing down for a little bit longer it's like oh shit okay but that's the one thing i hear about his, that is it's just a pain well, here's the thing, is like I think I, I got slowed down to like 18, 19 miles an hour um, on the A1, but I didn't come to a dead stop. As, so, as soon as the collision avoidance was like, right, everything's clear, I'll let you take control again. That was it, I, was I, I didn't come to a static stop, you know? And as soon, again, also, as like during the process, the trucks activated its hazards already. Yeah. Um, but then, as soon as again, as soon as the as soon as the collisions or the as soon as the threat is through or that threat of collision is done, it's deactivated them again because I've not come to a full stop. Now I've had it before now as well with these new DAFs where even if there's no collision threat or anything like that, if you uh, break harshly. Um, it flashes the hazards at a more rapid pace as well. I've noticed some of a lot of uh, HGVs now on the roads is the... Um, so I thought originally they were just putting on their hazards when they were braking, but it's yeah. just automatic now. It's yeah, just exactly. Yeah. It's a nice 
of like awareness for everyone else around you. It's like they're breaking and they're breaking quite hard as well. Yeah, you can see it, but the hazards identify it a lot better. Yeah, because they're it's a little bit of a faster pace than a normal hazard. Like if it was a manual activation as such. Also, I'm again, I got a little bit of frame drop through that uh, town, guys. So apologies for that, but I think that'll be because I'm streaming to Discord as well as on Streamlabs. Um, but, oh, hello, just had a lag spike there, um, but yeah, no, it's like, the way ETS2 does it is, just as soon as your collision avoidance activates, that's it, I'm bringing you to a dead stop, there's no real, actual, like, if you're going to implement, a <laughs> It's irritating because it feels like the, the feature's been half-baked. If you're going to implement the feature, implement the feature as it should work. Don't just half-bake it and call it a day with that because that just it doesn't work. It's a pointless feature that, you know, I don't really want to use at that point. To be fair, I wouldn't be surprised they've probably just gone on one vehicle or on a smaller type um, heavy goods vehicle and have just gone, yep. Yeah. That's how that entire system works, because all our either codes have collision avoidance. Uh -huh. But it's hilarious, because you can turn it off. Yeah, you can turn them off on all of them. But it's like, the majority of our lads will turn them off, because it's a bit. Hang on, we can we go down here? Because it done. will just activate randomly, like, you'll have a car's Ooh. length in front of you, Hello. between you and the car in front. They're going faster than you, but because you come up on them, yeah. He'll go, no, nope, I'm going to like flag you as collision avoidance and then start throwing the anchors up and we'll just stop you. Which for us isn't that bad because we've got our amber lights of God back the fuck up, bitches. Yeah, pretty much. But it's much. just like, not everyone, one, likes to listen to those and two, we're not technically meant to use them. No, quite. And that's, you know, there's I a reason found, to. I just found a new road. Ooh. It's just like, I question that style of our collision avoidance, because that, that will just throw you into a dead stop regardless, oh, is this... it just loves making you stop. Right, hang on, is this one of those roads I can go down? Ah, uh, it doesn't <laughs> look like stabbed. it. Nah, it doesn't look like it actually, because it's a dead end. I'll come back to that at a later point. What the fuck is this? Uh, that would be a wheelie bin, sir. No, I'm looking at uh, something floating in the water now. Yeah. There's a roll of fucking toilet paper in the water. <laughs> yeah, hi, Tao. Have a look at my stream if you've got it up. Tell me this doesn't feel authentic for if you were driving in a God, in a city I, or uh, town. Get my ass kicked in uh, Starfield right now. Ow. <laughs> Sucks to be you then, bro. No, that's not a route. We can go down. I will murder you. Wow. Please do. <laughs> no, I'm out here trying to scan some stupid fucking fish. Why? I actually don't answer that. Um, you, you scan I down. In, in Starfield. <laughs> too late. Uh, in Starfield, you actually get. Uh, you get uh, more credits for completely scanning a planet. Oh, here we um, go, guys. <laughs> this should be interesting. That's a bit tight, Jesus Christ. Nah, it's just be a bit snug, that's all. That's what she said. Get it in there, shield. <laughs> See, this is the stuff I enjoy, though. Like, this is... This is what ETS should have been. <laughs> you know? Get her in there, boy. Well, yeah. I mean, the, the SCS has been talking about redoing all the maps, so... Yeah, and they've been say, doing reworks. Like to see if they increase the uh, lengths of everything. I know it's going to be a pain for them to increase sizes, but it's just like, for the love of God, please do. Just increase the yeah. size of everything. I'm fed up of coming onto a slip road, and it being not a slip road, but a... Get the fuck out of way. Yeah. That's, uh... It's like certain areas they have elongated it because it is elongated IRL, but it's just like it's that's the length that a normal slip road should be 
on those areas. It's just like, what's the fucking point? Yeah, the so, yeah. planes. Uh, this is the. Sorry to, yeah, sorry to interject here, guys, but this is exactly the sort of stuff where, because I lost my track IR, um, I lost the module that sits on the computer monitor. Oh, um, uh, yeah, you want that? Uh, yeah, this is the sort of stuff where, track. yeah, this is the sort of stuff where it will be so handy to have. Isn't there one that tracks your head movement even using a standard um, camera? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, I could probably I could probably make something with USB compatibility and a gyroscope that would do the same thing. As look at that! Say, <laughs> holy shit! <laughs> to be fair, I think the field of view or my driving position is off slightly because I thought I was closer to these cars than I actually was from the perspective of the windscreen. Do you want me to get out and be a banksman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, it's all good. You bro. coming? You coming? <laughs> No, see, on both fucking sides. Keep coming. I'll I'll be honest, mate. That perspective from that mini is a lot further away than what it should be for how close I was to it in the windscreen. But mm. eh, I ain't worried. <clears throat> but yeah, no. This is this stuff is precisely the sort of th this is the sort of stuff like the sort of challenge that you know people, people enjoy. Want. Yeah. Because now we get here, and net like, oh, okay, it's just a simple park up job. But you know, a lot of people would be happy now to be like, okay, next challenge of, um, next challenge of getting parked up, you know, for where we want to unload or something like that. Like, yeah. A lot of times it's a similar sort of concept as, you know, with aviation, the most dangerous parts of the flight are the takeoff and the landing. Yep. Yeah, similar sort of thing with truck driving. The most challenging parts are going to be the departure and the arrival. That's the one thing a lot of people don't realize. I understand everyone has a fear of flying and it is what it is. It happens. Yeah. But it's when you try and explain to them the safest portion that you can be in is up in the air. Yeah. And the amount, and then they're like, oh, I don't want to play because that requires us to take off mm -hmm. and land. It's like, the amount of safety shit in place, the statistics for it, yeah. you're more likely to die walking between your house and your car getting struck by lightning than you are to die in an aircraft. Yeah. The most oh, dangerous part of late. driving is five miles from your destination and five miles from your house. <laughs> Yeah, I, I love looking at the statistics of it because it's like the likelihood of then you getting struck by lightning while leaving your house and all that. Is getting squashed by a vending machine. <laughs> no, getting attacked by a shark on your holiday. Hey, that's what you reckon to the to... truck. That's a sexy truck. <laughs> got lights. <laughs> All of the above. Yeah. <laughs> it's also got fin light or spoiler lights as well. <laughs> spoiler lights. Yeah, right. Come on, I only need a couple more cat events. Where the fuck are they? Yeah. Yeah, anyways, let's... Right, so... I know there are some... Hidden passageways here. So, yep, here we go, already. <laughs> oh, wow. Bloody hell. So, I'm already up on the curb for this. Um, that would have been too bad, actually. Two... Oh wow. See, yeah, stuff like this though, you actually feel like you're driving in a developing town or city when you're taking yeah. on roads like this. Just like, this is just perfect. Okay, I'm plugging my steering wheel. <laughs> See, I've given Naz the bug now, guys. I'm allergic to this kind of trick. <laughs> Bastard! <laughs> You're right there, Raz. I'm dying! Die quietly. <laughs> no, fuck off. <laughs> I don't allow myself I want to die out just like the Queen did. Yeah, right. <laughs> God um, save on, her grave. She's dead. Yeah, right. Go back down here for a sec because I think there's another way through. Seattle yeah, Skyline. No, South Skyline doesn't look like mm. Los Angeles Skyline. Oh, come on. There's got to be more cats and bats around here somewhere. Oh, save us. Uh, 
my chasm pass, you bitch. Bro, I'm imagine trying to get that excavator or whatever that is down here. <laughs> oh, fuck, no, that'd be tight. Yeah, in fact, you know I'll what? Still fucking do it. Challenge accepted. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab that. See where it's going. If it's going to anywhere in West Balkans, we'll right, take guys, it. I'm gonna catch you later. Uh, yeah. Get to a part of the game where it's locked out. All right, take care, I'll Later. He's gonna be singing sea shanties by the end of the day. Yeah, right. I <laughs> Yeah. See, that feels weird <clears throat> because realistically. I would be a lot closer than what my mirror field of view is telling me there. Yeah. And even more so, if we pull back a bit more. Yeah, that feels like... It's not that bad, in all honesty. It's not that bad, but obviously as someone who does this on the daily, you can tell it's... You can, you can tell issues. what... Yeah, exactly. Um. So, yeah. I can tell that I am. I would be closer to that than what the game is showing me at the moment. Right, anyways, let's. Where's the. doodad for the entrance? Here, there, and everywhere. It's him. Uh, here it is. Alright, let's see where. Let's see what jobs they've got. Ooh. Freight market. Hi, I'm Sorry. a shouty man. Yeah, right. I'm gonna get that as a. I'm gonna make him as a character. Oh, here you go. Oh yeah, these are both going to Italy. Oh, I really Ooh. want to take them as well, but yeah. You can always go to Italy if they've got one that comes back. True, I suppose. Oh, there's no fucking bottle open. I've been looking Ooh. for fucking bastard. <laughs> Oh, this could be interesting. Oh, <laughs> do we be cruel on ourselves? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. you That's just are, illegal. Are you seeing the trailers? You do realise that these trailers are rear steer, Stevens. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I do. Should, we, I, I, should I, we get a super yeah. long one? <laughs> yes, get the super long one. Hell <laughs> this, no. This whole shield got stuck. <laughs> yeah, that would literally be it. Yeah, no. I'll be honest, even IRL, I don't think I would take that long of a trailer. Especially if it can be fit on this shorter combination. But My we will... Yeah. Line. But we will add the... We will add the challenge of a rear steer trailer. Is in a fully rear steer trailer as well, so... What's set me map down? Something like that. Right, let's get our beacons on. And we will... Go pick up this Volvo excavator thingy-majigger. What the hell is there a fridge trailer doing here? Physics. Shit, yeah, right? That's how they got their lunch bought in. Yeah, true, actually. That's uh, how they keep cold. Shit, yeah, right? <laughs> right, let's get our mid lift down. We will go exterior for this because I want to see if I can. All right, we're in. And then just do a tug test. Oh wow! I stalled it. <laughs> Good job. I stalled it on the tug test. Hang on, let's see if I can. Wow, that's a hammer. Yeah, it's not, let, it's not letting me actually raise the air suspension, which is mildly irritating. Whee! Yeah, right. Right. Now... I'm quite disturbed by this. Whee! Yeah. Now, from here on, we're going fully uh, interior, or we're staying strictly interior. Now, I'll be real with you, that U-turn um, up ahead isn't feasible for me for this trailer, so... 
I do suspect we're probably going to have to take it around the block, literally. And yes, we are definitely going up the pavement here. That's an interesting, actually. I just thought about that. I'd like to see them implement eventually. Is there a recovery truck that you end up being able to use, like, in convoys with your mates? Yeah. Okay, let's see if my steering wheel wants to explode again. See, this is the sort of stuff where these rear steer trailers come into their own. <laughs> Beautiful. Drink, so. Yeah, but just like having it there where you get a clean cut turn like that, where it's like an inch off of the curb as well. Just beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's what you want. <laughs> All right. Now this turn's going to be a little bit more challenging because I've got this parked car here on my off side, on my right hand side rather. I don't want to hit it. Okay, so we're clear of that, only just. Ooh. <laughs> See, this is the sort of stuff where now having these rear steer trailers in, in ETS2, this is where it justifies itself, guys. This is where it justifies itself. Like, this is the fun factor for me. Like, can you imagine, like, can you imagine a lot of, uh... Oh, God. Yeah, I would I don't think I'd have been able to take that, really. Uh, actually, I probably could have. It's not that bad. But I can just see it now where... A load of like special transport companies start using ETS2 as a training thing for their drivers or for mm. new drivers. Oh I my god! Be surprised. This is gonna be f oh god, getting out of here is gonna be the challenge. Oh god! <laughs> Full simulator setup, basically like they did with um, Compare 3D. Yeah. Also enjoy about the Compare 3D as well is even if like. That's... Microsoft. Hang on, I'm getting a photo of that. That's awesome. <laughs> like, Microsoft didn't see the... At the time, we'll see now they have, because they've made another simulator. Yeah. But at the time, they didn't see the point in keeping FSX updated and running, so they basically just went, all right, we're done with it. Yeah. And then they decided, you know what, we don't want anything to do with it now, we'll sell it. So they sold it, and guess who bought it? Oh. Lucky mine. Amazing. And they made Prepare 3 day And <laughs> it is used in Lockheed Martin simulators. Yeah. And it's just FSX. Oh, uh, I'm going to have to go... Upgraded. Oh, my God. How am I going to make that? With great skill, determination, and a lot of tears. Oh, my God. Probably take a wide turn. No. Ooh. I mean, I could if it was blocked off. I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to keep it on my side of the road. I'm gonna have to back up a touch though. I'm gonna open the window to Right. This is gonna be interesting. Right. Oh boy. Oh. tail swung the gate or the fence behind me oh my god I'm surprised I didn't I, I'm surprised I made that to be honest I'm assuming we have to have the same mods to do a convoy <sighs> together don't we yes mate and I've got a shit ton in the yeah convoys on ETS2 just on well I've had to make a completely separate profile for that to be quite honest yeah <laughs> 
I can't convoy with you next week, mate, because I'm uh, helping Laura move houses, but... Fair enough. I can... Um, yeah, sometime around the holidays, maybe. I've got some holiday coming up at the end of November, so do something like that then. Alrighty. I'm going to see how well this DOC is going to kill me. It's but worth it, though, mate. As you, well, as you can tell by... Uh, by me playing it, to be honest. I'm probably gonna have to yeah. slow. Yeah? Alright, Steve, yeah. let's... You take it easy, mate. Uh, should be. Should be. Alright. In a bit, mate. In a bit. It's gonna be a big patrol as well, because we've got the, um, bikes in for BCSO now. Yeah? Yeah, Ooh. I asked them to originally just put me in as a test, and then Briggs has since fixed all the car cars on him, and I was like... Yeah. Is he actually skinned him as well, or no, are you the one skinning him? Yeah, I've completed all the liveries from. So, I went what, to Briggs... What, they similar to Briggs' skins, then? Yes. Oh, okay. I went to Briggs, and I was like, would you be able to send me just, like, the basics of what I need to do this? And he sent me the, um, uh, like, fucking... All the colours... Um, well, I text that he used yep. and the uh, black line um, thing. Yeah, yeah. And that's in straight to move that across the bikes. Um, to be fair, I'd like to work on them again in the future. Mm -hmm. um, but so far, Tommy and Hudson seem to be um, happy with how they've turned out, so. Yeah, okay. If they're happy, then. I'm happy, it's the thing I prefer to get a third party view because obviously when you delivery something, when you design anything, you're always going to be the worst critic going, I could do better than that. Oh, well that doesn't look perfect. And the person you're giving it to is like, I don't give a shit, it's amazing. Yeah. Right, let's just quickly... Let's check out where we're at here. <laughs> Love that. Just a screenshot, that me... And here we see a protest in front of a hotel. <laughs> Sorry, we blocked your gates. Why? I'm lost. <laughs> yeah. Where the fuck are you or, from? England. Never yeah. mind. Or can you imagine? Delivery. We didn't order an excavator. No, but... An, we did now. Yeah, an unruly customer did. <laughs> what could a killdozer? I want to do that as a scene eventually. If oh, I can no. sort out. <clears throat> She does not look impressed. She's still got her face mask on. <laughs> yep. We're gonna still figure out how to do, um, like, what's it called? Fucking simple training and all that. I'll probably end up doing a killdozer scene where I legitimately put, like, metal plates that are around GTA 5 on the thing mm. as props and attach it to them, like I did with the tow bear in SAF yeah. with DOT. But it's just a pain in the ass because I'm so used to Menyo and they haven't updated it in ages. And when they, yeah. someone else has made a third party update mm -hmm. of Menyo and it just doesn't work in multiplayer. Oh, that's irritating. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll be messaging them and be like, would you be able to see if it's possible to make it work for multiplayer? And they're like, well, I don't think we really can. And it's like, <laughs> The old one was able to, is there a way that it can, because I'd like to use it for 5M stuff, and I'll have to wait and see. Yeah. It's like, great. Ugh. Fuck it, I'm quick travelling to Dover, because I'm still operating in the UK. <laughs> Fair enough. Like 90% of my, like, northern bases, or northern garages in the UK, are all operated by AI, and they're all just fucking Kalina trucks. Oh, God. <laughs> to be fair, it is a nice there, design. Mm -hmm. I keep seeing them a lot more. The one thing that I've not seen too much of is DSDF. And I like DSDF. I don't know why. You mean DFDS? <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah. You know what I fucking mean. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. Leave me alone. <laughs> I haven't had my complimentary Coke this morning. <laughs> Well, that's is is curious to be honest because you got if uh, if the entirety of say Stobart's or Kalina's fleet were like a two pen uh, a two pence coin, 
the fleet in comparison to DFDS and DSV would be like a dinner plate, basically. Yeah. That's, That's just how large they are. Shit. Oh, absolutely. We're going to see the allergic bats. <laughs> Random fucking garage in Croatia. Yeah, that fucker. Jesus Christ, has. Fuck's sake. Where are you going? I don't know. I can't <laughs> pronounce it. Why? <laughs> I might take a Merc actually. I haven't got a Merc in my fleet yet. I don't have a Merc on my map. <laughs> Why can I select Merc if I've never been there? You've probably got more than five trucks in your fleet, at which point you're able to access the online dealers. Yeah, so it's going up. I've got Man, Dab, Overcoat, Mercedes Benz, Renault Truck, Scanning, and Volvo. If I click Mercedes Benz, <laughs> they're not showing up on my map where the fucking uh, dealership is. Never mind, I found it. It's in Turkey. Bottom <laughs> <laughs> line. <laughs> uh, I'll go <gasps> to the end, let's see what your speaker space is like. Oh, that was, oh, that's pretty cool. I can't lie, this is just no insane longer. actually, like, dude, the level of the level of detail that's gone into this DLC, like, just, mate, this is just awesome. Oh, yeah. They've done a very, very good job. They really have, actually. They have done a fantastic job of this. Albeit, it, please excuse the frame drops, guys. It's because I'm streaming to Discord as well as uh, Streamlabs. So when the recording comes up, the frames might be a little bit choppy. So apologies for that. Sorry. Yeah, right. I want content too, you bastards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but yeah, so, oh. Here we come, coming into Durez or wherever it is. Okay, okay, let's oh, wow, cover this, this thing in lights. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, this port's pretty cool as well. Oh. Yeah. It now. Oh my god. Frame drops. <laughs> <laughs> I like that they've added, obviously, the... Oops. Oh my god. I like how they've added the um, port connections between, obviously, the West Balkans and Italy. I'll be yeah. honest, actually, let me check what country this is, because I am completely in the blank about um, West Balkan countries. Yeah, it doesn't even... I think this is... Oh, God. I want to say this is Albania, mm. but I'm not sure. Break it, it's the Albanian Rosses! <laughs> God damn it, Az. <laughs> I will do that. If, I get, if I'm in Albania and I'm driving along and I see a fucking car. <laughs> Even in real life, I'll fucking do it. I'll save their fucking face. Brav. And you'd literally beat Captain Slow because you're an HGV driver. <laughs> yep. It's the fact that this port has an actual gate security gatehouse security for access not only to the general port but like also for the there's a container port business there's a rest area on the port everything like that you got everything you need yeah everything a growing hgv driver needs <laughs> yeah pretty much oh my god how many gates I am not putting pirate flags on the side of my truck. I might get arrested. <laughs> Quite is the Albanian Rosses. 
shit. <laughs> yeah, right. Just be like, quick, hard to starboard, fire all cannons. <laughs> Run! Do you imagine just hitting an Albanian police car with a fucking cannonball out the back of your trailer? <laughs> oh god, they'd be pissed. <laughs> yeah, you don't say. <laughs> right. So yeah, the ports feel a lot more... Um, the ports feel a lot more generic as well, I have to say. I think that... Yeah. I think that last gatehouse... Oh, I think it just grounded the trailer. Um, yeah, I think the last... Uh, I think that last gate was a little bit much, but either or. No way! You can actually get... You can link up to go all the way up here to Ancona as well if you want. That's going to make life a hell of a lot easier if you rather than drive all that fucking way. Yeah, well, that's it. That's awesome. <clears throat> Damn me. Okay, let's find a new road. Give yourself some big good year tires. Yeah. I will see quickly if I can pick up a job that comes back into the West Balkans as well. Because, yeah. And then I'm going to go off, do my uh, cooking for the week. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, it is night time. Whoa. Shit, right? I'll go down tight back lanes at night. Yeah, quite. Right. Oh, God. Hang on. we got to fit through these. Okay, this could be interesting. Ugh. Uh... Hey, open sesame. What are you finding a new route for? It's scared. Shit, yeah, right? Whew. Mm -hmm. Well, stop that. We're going on the correct course. It's like every time you go traveling with fucking Google, recalculating. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Oh yeah, as here, have the sun, bang. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Spent too much time not looking in the correct direction. Whoops. <laughs> oh, hello. They've actually got gates at the ports in Italy now as well. That's good. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I have a Renault, Renault torch and keys in a fucking Mercedes. Wait, what? Well, I've got, I'm going through the extras uh -huh. for like, all the little accessories and it's just got like, a Renault keys, a Renault wallet, and it's just like, ah uh, yes, I'm going to have all of that in a <laughs> mug. Yeah, alright. Good old bulldog bobblehead. Just so I can call him, uh, fuck it, what's the. Churchill. So Churchill, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. For legal reasons, Churchill, as in Winston Churchill, did not make that noise. We don't know why they decided to end up doing that. <laughs> yeah, right. It's uh, one of okay, life's many let's... mysteries. Oh, come on. Yeah, through. There we go. Alright, straight over it here, and then... Yeah. See, this was quite good as well, like, they did a pretty decent job in some of the Italian towns, actually, when they reworked them. Um, yeah. Me and I. Like, Italy wasn't a bad DLC either, to be fair. The Italia DLC. 
but yeah, no, by far level of detail for West Balkans is, I'll be honest, West Balkans, I don't want to say that not the, the other D DLCs haven't, because some have, but in relation, like, in comparison to the West Balkans, West Balkans has absolutely lived up to every moment of the hype. Yeah. Whereas a lot of the other DLCs, some of them lived up to the hype, but not as much as what West Balkans has, in my opinion. Ah, uh, oh, night driving. Alright. I'll be honest, what I might do is go do my cooking once I've done this job and then come back and do uh, another job on the way back into the West Balkans. But we'll at least select the job before we... Uh, we'll at least select the job before um, we go the night. Let's see if it actually takes me to the fucking Balkans now I've selected the truck that I finally made. Yeah, right. Put her in gear. <sighs> Watch it on a pure for a fucking neutral. Oh yeah, one of the other things I liked as well yesterday <coughs> when I was playing it, playing it, they've actually got different layouts for the workshops now as well. Yeah. So you actually see some workshops that have like six bays, two different buildings, they're run down, there's no gate to get into them, there's no fence around them either to be honest. And they've actually got some like trucks that are in bit like being worked on I'm guessing. There's placeholders in there as well. <coughs> so, that's pretty cool. Excuse me. Bless you. Bless you again. I microphone on on my headset. Yes. Nice one. I have the power of the sneeze. Hmm. Right. Yeah, not gonna lie, this is actually quite enjoyable, to be fair. Like, <clears throat> you'd do some heavy haulage in the area of Balkans. Yeah, I absolutely would, mate. Finland, um, what was that? Oh, what DLC was that? Was that like Road to the Black Sea or something? Yeah, I think so. Actually, no, I'm not sure it was. I can't remember, but the one which included Finland and like the countries up that region near Scandinavia as well um Finland was quite a good DLC actually because that had obviously new trailer combinations but the uh you did like you noticed obviously how a lot of uh Finland wasn't actually dual carriageway motorways it was a lot of single carriageway roads and quite yeah. woodlandy that was I, I enjoyed Finland for that reason as well to be fair. Bloody hell, I'm foot down here trying to get all this hill. <laughs> this 620's, this 620's yep. managing it, only just. <laughs> Barely. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll take a boat. Yeah. Oh, it's spoiling me in fucking Birmingham. Oh, okay, that's fine. Gross. Alright, that's where my headquarters is. <laughs> Second. That's where my HQ is. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, like the fucking <laughs> scanning area. Bloody hell. No, we just want to go straight over. We turn left, right, we're going into nothing. Are we though? Mm. I don't think we are. Oh, should we go on the way bridge for shits and gigs? I think we should. This 
this has to be the widest way bridge I've ever known. Gator on there. Yep, yeah, there we go. We're on. <laughs> Does it actually tell us our weight? No, it doesn't. Let down. Actually, how heavy are we overall? It says the payload's 26 tons. That's not even like that's not even a heavy haul here in the UK. UK no. UK we're legislated to maximum maximum payload weight of 28 tons. All right, this should be interesting to park up at least because I'll be having to blindside it in here. When you spot it in the Baltics and your game's frozen. <laughs> Yikes. Go on ETS, figure yourself out. Load or crash, pick one. <laughs> yeah, right. Now I've noticed the loading times... Yay! I've noticed the loading times do take a little bit longer lately. It's crashed. Good job. Has it actually? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good job, ETS. I believe in you. This is the other thing with reversing these trailers. They sort of tend to steer themselves. Like, if you're not careful, you'll get caught out by it. One of these days, I'll just implement a system where it's like you hike, you show up at your destination, you have like a fucking tablet. Just select the bay you want to go in, it will reverse itself perfectly into the bay. Yeah, can you imagine? Alright, there we go. I'm gonna call that done. Every HGV driver just there, like, fuck yes! Yeah, right. Bloody hell. God, could you imagine that for a sight coming down the road? <laughs> I can't see why the sun. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh god, like, they even that looks even more intimidating to be honest. <laughs> just, oh, yeah. yeah, it's just like, what is that a truck? Hi there. <laughs> We've been trying to contact you about your car's extended warranty. Yeah, yeah right. What about it? It's about to expire. Yeah. It would be nice to see that yeah. add some American style trucks into ETS because I have seen a few of them both in the UK and around Europe. I was just realised I've got to fix my light bar. I've got a left turn indicator on there. Oof. Oh no, that's a right turn indicator which makes it even worse. What the hell? <laughs> oh well. You'll never notice. Yeah, right. That's ironic. Right, anyways, let's power down and then, yeah. Hey, happy days. Right. See if we can pick a job which takes us back into the West Balkans, guys. Let's see. That's actually, hang on. What the hell? That's a job and a half. All the, way from, all the way from Lisbon, all the way over to Turkey. Imagine all the way from Lisbon all the way up to like St. Petersburg in Russia. London Sun. <laughs> I might actually try that at some point with the Truckee app. The furthest I've done is Turkey to the UK, flight from the UK to the States, then from one side of the States to the other. Yeah. <laughs> the pen that fucking ass. Fair enough. Right. Um. Oh, we got one to go to Serbia. We haven't been there before, so I'm going to take that, I think, actually. Or Novi Sad. Pet food to Novi Sad. At least Novi Sad. <laughs> Actually, that goes further as well, even though it's less less pricing on the mile. Uh, less pricing on the mileage, rather. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, sod it. We're not doing it for the money. We're just doing it for the experience, aren't we, guys? Let's be real with ourselves here. Stick it in the hole. See what happens. Yeah, right. Alright, we'll get our midlift raised up. 
and we'll get out of here. <laughs> So I'm going to have a crusader delivery on the side of my truck while I operate the ball to grid. <laughs> Ultimate troll move. With the grace with the might of the Lord. Get the fuck away. <laughs> Like, if this was my actual life and my general health and fitness wasn't a thing, like, I wasn't to be worried about, I would just yeah. do this all day, every day, just go find my next job and just take it wherever. Like, I would literally just live in my truck. You know, if it weren't for the fact that the conditions are just so poor for many truck drivers these days, and, like, the health, hygiene, just a whole lot, it's just like, what? Why are you... <laughs> why, is there, adventure. why is there an airport fire truck on the streets of Barry? You got lost. Hmm. Apparently. Well, to be fair, I've, I've seen a few arc trucks driving around our area. Well, I'm not going to include the fact I'm surrounded by airfields, but <laughs> yeah, I was about to say as that's yeah, kind of it's kind of the point there, out. mate. Yeah, right. But nah. It, but yeah, no, like, honestly, if, if like, you know, if, if my general health fitness wasn't really an issue, yeah, I'd love to do this. It'd be an enjoyable thing to do. For me, it's like, I don't know what I'd do. I don't know if I'd do, like, I'm probably going to do more heavy haulage, because that's what I'm hopefully going to end up doing once I've passed my tests. Yeah. I want to go on to the company that I'm technically still contracted for. Uh-huh. And um, work for them on as a driver because all their Arctic drivers do is just haul their machinery around. Oh, really? And that's it. That's it. You rock up on site, drop it off, and then you just basically sit around on that <laughs> site. Interesting. If it needs to be taken back for repair, then you slap it on and go. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, fixed. It's just like, fuck yeah, I'm not do that. Yeah. I think all that tracks are marks as well. Yeah. All right. You know what? We're gonna go with the the. Let's go with the Crone trailer. So it. Why not? So we'll grab. Uh, what was it? This one. Yeah. Yeah, we got. Uh, trailer. Oh, hang on, we are getting more for it, I was about to say. Yep, that'll do. Take job. That'll do, pig, that'll do. Yeah, there's... There's my trailer. Trailer. And yeah. it's 20 tons, so yeah, we are going to need the mid-lift down on this one. Yeah, as... Can we say reverse lights? <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, at least you'll be able to see where you're fucking going. Oh yeah, that's the point. <clears throat> I can't see, turn the lights on you daft fire. Yeah, right. Holy shit, it's the sun! Yes. <laughs> there we go. I knew I'd got that as slightly duff angle. Luckily, just cor I corrected it just in time. Yeah, slightly daft angle. Duff. Daff! You drive a daff, but it's a daff angle. Fucking <laughs> like hate daffs. Yeah, I can tell. Alright. 
Mm -hmm. Stupid thing is, like, we're meant to be getting a new truck to replace the one we currently got on our rigid body, and it's just, they were like, yeah, something, but make sure it's not a daft. And they're like, why not? And it's like, because every single one you've got on us has been a pile of shit. <laughs> Amazing. It's a Merc or something, but at least we could say we drove a Merc, mm. and if it's a pile of shit, it's a pile of shit. Amazing. <laughs> and they're like, oh, we'll look into it. Okay, we've got another daft rigid body coming. Die. Yeah, just die, die for fuck's sake. Mm -hmm. Don't right. talk to me anymore, not my friend. <laughs> fuck you, management. <laughs> right, so... What I'm gonna yeah, one do... Job. Is... What I'm going to do is I'm going to have it where I get to basically purchase as many garages en route as possible. Why? Because why not? Bucket. Stick it in the pocket bucket. Something like that. Right. Uh, then I'm going to take us through here because, yeah. Wait, what? Was that still trying to? Oh. All right, hang on. Reset the navigation because. So that's one. That's two. Three. There we go. Um, we can't really get to Bell. I mean, we've already dis discovered it anyways, but we couldn't get to it without severely detouring there anyway, so we'll leave that. Where is that? I do want to check that out. Oh, and that. Before we come back over here. Uh, and then, yeah, we can purchase the garage once we actually arrive there. But yeah, that should. I'm looking forward to that. But we will do that on the next. Uh, we will do that once I've done all my cooking and stuff, guys. So. Yeah, that bomb shell back to the studio. <laughs> Enough with the Top Gear references. Do 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 do. Alright guys, we're back, we've done our cooking, we've got Sam and Az with us now, I think Az is away, but <clears throat> either way. Uh, we are on our way to... Yeehaw, chocolate. <clears throat> we're on our way to Novi Sad, which is apparently Novi a place, Sad. yeah. Well, I, I, I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly or what, but yeah, we're off to Novi Sad, guys. So, yeah, let's... Is that in a Russian accent? <laughs> no. Let's get started. <clears throat> uh, have we got our... No, we need our midlift down, because it's a hev... It's one of those heavier loads. It's happy days. <laughs> and we're underway, guys. The sound is a little bit overpowering, but it's alright. <coughs> oh, hello, what the hell? Uh, my steering wheel's having a fit all of a sudden. My steering wheel just decided no. Uh, there you are. Okay, there we go. Right, let's. Have you seen the get on the way? Uh, I only had a screenshot. I haven't actually been in service to check them out yet. Don't worry, I'm about to break them in again. Uh, right, guys. What are you about to do us? We're back. I'm adding some stuff to them. Alright guys, we're finally back with it after them to restart the game, so yeah. That was weird though, my, my steering wheel just completely went dead because I turned on my lamp, my desk lamp. Desk lamp doesn't like your... Uh, I, I, I have a feeling I think I know what it might be as well. 
my desk lamp and my steering wheel are both plugged into the same extension cable I've got. Uh, which, which kind of worries me a little bit. <laughs> so I'm just, no, wait actually, no, I'm, just, just I'm just waiting to fucking turn the lamp off and my steering wheel explodes on me. Go on, Sam. What's, what were you going to say, um, mate? I found a way to make you hate me. That's you know, not that hard. Yeah, you know as if I don't, need, I don't need that much reason, mate. <laughs> you know the indicator thing that you have for the GUI that makes the um, mm -hmm. fucking sound? No. What? You, you know the. Oh, you know the you indicator the makes a noise, left. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The HUD in the bottom left has an indicator noise as part of it. It yeah. doesn't sync up with the light. Like the actual oh, flash lights flash at a different speed. I I'm sorry, you. Mr. OCD. Fuck off. Do you have, a, do you, did you have a way to fix it? Is that uh, your back question? I can have a look on it. If you break the server, I'll break your spine. <laughs> I'm good with that. Um, Does that mean you'd have to go to college? Disability, to to disability benefits. Exactly. Ah, uh, yeah, bro. I'll break your legs instead, then you can get repaired. Still disability uh, benefits. Spodometer. Don't break his brain? I don't know if I can. No, vegetable benefit. <laughs> wow, that's, that's so mean. <laughs> Am I wrong? Yes. Probably, I'm fucking mad. <laughs> I think I might be able to actually. I love all potatoes equal. What have them sink? Uh, not necessarily, but I can make the sound quicker. Oh, right. Well, that hasn't improved anything. I haven't Good done job, it yet. Keyword there is yeah, and keyword is I don't think it's going to work. I can make the sound quicker, and then in theory it would sync up with the flashing of the lights. The likelihood of it working is... Oh, Slim to none. <coughs> Why does it also sound like you're doing it on like a 1980-something fucking old-ass car? Probably because that's how they record pa it. Pass. Pass. Yeah, pass. <laughs> you don't get to pass, that's not allowed. Well, he kind of has to if he's on a road and he's got a slight bit of confinement. Mm. Yeah. Fuck out, boy, you dickhead. Also, as question. No, what the fuck do you want? Why do we not have the um, park yeah. script thing for the cars? Why do we just have to manually change the lights? What? You know the you know the slower lights. Yeah. Those are on scene lights. Why do we not have the script for that? Because one, I don't have the script personally for that that setup, and two, Ow. that would be authorization of the individual that happens to be in this VC. <laughs> to me personally, I don't give a shit about having the script Who's in or not. Are they? Mine. No, oh, no. Um, developer, you dumbass. Which one are you looking at right now? The SAMR Explorer. The FPIU I gave you. Yeah. That would be Space One Hundred One. That's the only vehicle in our fleet that has that lighting system, so I don't see why you can't just keep it as is without having a script and just use what everyone else has been doing, which is extras. I managed to pull over, turn all my extras off, and just have my rear advisory lights, amber lights on, just to let people know that I'm off the side of the road. Because I broke the fucking car. Well, fucking deal with it. My fleet, my rules, my problem. I'm about to make it your problem. You touch my fleet without my consent, I will fucking I'm end I'm not you. touching it, I'm just going to complain at you. Well, I don't give a shit. Fucking deal with it. Simple. Uh -huh. If I don't like it, don't care. <laughs> if you don't like it, you're going to get complained at, basically. Then I can just remove you from SAMR. <clears throat> I can still complain. Yeah, just outside of SAMR. Yeah, where it doesn't affect you, so that all your complaints are invalid. And at some point, if you continue to do it, I'll just go to Shield and say, "Can you make Sam stop harassing me, or I'll f write a formal complaint?" And Will I'll, has been trying I'll... to make me stop complaining for like the past year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll literally just laugh at you and be like, <laughs> "No, I wish I could." <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> that would actually do it because that would technically cover communications over online as well. Yep. I figured out how to get the script though. 
A restraining order just specifically says Stam, stop. Stam? Sam, stop harassing him. Stam, stop harassing Stam, I don't know who Stam is, but <laughs> you can get him to stop complaining. I'm not. <laughs> Shut up, Stam. I'm not Stam. You're Stam. Go straight up. I'm not Stanley. Stam, I'm Az. And I'm not Stam, I'm Sam. <laughs> Sam, I am. Oh, Stanley. Hello, Sam, I am. <laughs> Do you have a but, you have a dog named Stanley? <laughs> or had? Oh, fucking no, I can't um, remember that. Uh, da, 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 I found how to get the script as well. Good job. I'm pleased with myself. <laughs> Wait, oh, what script is this? Uh, um, hold on, let me let me show you. Uh, it's a parking uh, light like script, so the uh, vehicle that we have is a uh, full essay about <laughs> The I current FIU. Okay. Uh, 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 I can't. Sh you can't show me the minute I'm driving. Let me find somewhere to park up real quick. It's also recording. I am also recording, but sorry, because that's on a different screen. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. So the SMR vehicle has different sets of lights within the extras. So you have uh, fast lights for response, slower lights, and then you can also have amber lights for advisory at the rear. Mm -hmm. And the joy with that is you can also have them separate. So if you combine like two or three extras, they run together. But if you just have one on, then you just have say like the rear and the lights. So in yeah. theory, what the script does what is this is that while the car's running. Give me one sec. I've accidentally started a YouTube video in the background now. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. So this is what the car looks like when it's running. And in theory, when you pull over. What it does, it turns these two extras off and turns on those two. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I can also, in theory, edit it so it's just um, those, or just those, and just do just do one set, but that's fairly pointless. Yeah, and so it's always have the ambers on as well, because the ambers yeah. are important. Well, yeah, but they don't need to <laughs> Will constantly only... be on. Will it only affect that vehicle? Mm. Yeah, yeah. It Why are you rerouting me? I top, can. Top, ugh, yeah. I'm on the right track. Yeah, basically, um, your, when your momentum is zero, it'll toggle the extra. And if I'm pulled out, if I'm stopped at a red light. If you're stopped at a red light with your lights going, then I don't know why. It depends on what I'm doing. Yeah. Because I could be responding. Because my my argument of code two is you run with just your lights and you stop red lights oh. check and then go. God I damn think it. you can adjust it so you have to be stopped for like five seconds before it. You set it up so it registers an engine stop. Uh, in theory, yes, but it would take a bit of editing. Um, uh, so fuck it, no. Definitely just... want the engine to stop. Sorry, um, I'll leave up authorization for well because it's his server. <laughs> Talk to Hightower. Hightower is just like, no, I'll make one. Well, who She's to break the entire zone. <laughs> Probably. Mm. Who has the key master on their account, actually, is the better question. It's on my account. Cool. Okay, so uh, we'd, we'd need you to do it anyway, because weirdly the cars aren't Tebex locked, but the script is. Because why the fuck not? I'm pretty sure I bought the cars after, uh, before they were Tebex. <laughs> Possibly. Mm, maybe, mate, maybe. But no, it, it's even the text document in the thing that you got as <laughs> says that the script's Tebex. It's like, what? Oh, no, no, I think they've Tebex locked it for some reason because it is a script. There are people that are known to be out there that will buy the script and then do some minor edits to it and then sell it as their own. Or say it's theirs. Which is theft. See, oh, I'd, have to say, but... I'd have to see how complicated the script is, but I'd argue that the cars are the more valuable asset to them. It's a, mm. script, it's a script It's a script that turns two extras off and two extras on. Yeah, but if it's something that a lot of people want and it's quite sought after, which theoretically it would be, because there are a lot of people, devs out there, that are designing their lights to work with that style of script, the script would then end up being more valuable than the vehicles because you always will need that script. The vehicles can change. Yeah. Now again, I've got SMR. At the end of the day, I don't think it's cool. actually too complicated of a script to make. Okay. You do you. If you break the server, it's on you. I mean, it's up to Will if he wants to do it, so. No, it's up to Hightower, according to Will, so. 
And a complaint at high tower. Yeah, I was going to tell you now. Probably. Like complaint high tower, not me instead. Then. Now I'm passing the baton along. High tower, want the script. High tower, want the script. High tower, want the script. Fuck you, cunt. Yeah, that'll be close enough. To be fair. More high tower direction. That's high tower's reaction every time. <clears throat> Near enough. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, I found some sweets um, the other day when I went around to well, Laura's to cheer her up. I brought them round, and she fucking loves them. Oh. Like twelve out, out, twelve out of ten, apparently. The other one I, I do kind of like as is is just doing this, so having the running style on the red light bar, but having the ambers on the... On the See, that's why, I, that's why I'm posting for it as an extra, because you can set it up how you want it to, because for me, is if I'm responding, it will be those, and then if I'm stationary, to be fair, I'll typically respond with both the ambers and the red on the rear, because they both combine. So when the amber's yeah, not on they, one they side, kind of the red's it, look, it looks a bit odd, but yeah, they do. I was like, you do you. <coughs> right. I do quite like this, though. Yeah. Screen to see the supervisor vehicle. Uh, I don't need to. Why? Oh, yeah, send it to you. Yeah, well, that and. I don't. That DM you. That had to be the quickest security check I've ever done. Like, within oh, pressing the button to go. start the security check, it's like a second and then the barrier went up. It's just like, uh, uh, bro. We've confirmed that we already know what's in your trailer. What? Mm -hmm. Ah, really? Why do I have 27? They used the AMR pack. No, no, no. The, um,. He has a Leo equivalent. There isn't a Leo equivalent of the AMR pack, actually. It's just the AM. Like, the AMR pack is the AMR, but there's no Leo equivalent. Disagree, hold on. Because Red, it's Red Saint's AMR pack. <laughs> because what comes in the AMR pack. Yeah, that's Space 101. That's got nothing to do with the shit that I'm on about. Again, yes, no, red I'm, on about the, I'm on about the cars. Just... Yeah, there's not a supervised delivery for 101. <laughs> yeah, no, I know, I, know the, I know the liveries are from Red Saint. No, you said you said the vehicles. The vehicles are from Red Saint. Yeah, so really? you, you, uh, guys, you guys a, are great. It's a combined vehicle pack that I've designed. <laughs> So, lads, this one lads, you're arguing the same point. I am, <laughs> I am trying to keep this recording somewhat chilled out. The only 101 vehicle that I have is that FPIU. <laughs> I am sure. That's it. Yeah, no, I thought I thought that's what you're on a bit. No. Yeah, no, you you said. We've been discussing the same car, and then you went off ten off on a tangent without saying anything. Yeah, so wait until you see the supervisor and the current working on. There's too many brain cells here. Too little. Yeah. Damn. Eh. <laughs> well, I would I would stream to Discord again, but. I'm enjoying the decent frame rate too much at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Shiro, look up some uh, West Balkans DLC gameplay on ETS2, dude. Like, I can honestly, I can honestly say that the West Balkans DLC is actually probably the most authentic DLC I've like done, done play, I've ever played with ETS, like with SCS or ETS2 before. It's awesome. Literally amazing. Ten out of ten. I would bang again. Yeah. 
<clears throat> not quite. Where the fuck did you get that one from? Damn, Sam. That I was ass. Was like, that fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> That is rude, how dare you. Like I can connect us out, anytime I do something stupid on a scene with Shearer, I can blame it on Sam instead. <laughs> God damn it, that's not quite how it's supposed to go, but okay. I mean, it is how it has worked, though. I mean, yeah, true. Real shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm gonna go find out if the rugby's on, so I'll see you guys later. No, so is it England work. versus South Africa tonight, isn't it? Yeah, it's the semi final. Uh, who you got your money on? Um, no one, you can't afford it. Hey, that's true. <laughs> um, it's tricky though. South Africa, I think, are the better team. I think England have a good chance against them, though, which is a fairly controversial opinion. Yeah. Um, <coughs> usually, whenever it gets to, England. usually whenever it gets to like New Zealand, South Africa, or Australia, that's when we unfortunately peter out. We're always like one oh, of the no, teams Australia that get to. Oh, oh, are they? Yeah. So I know. I know France. Like at one point, they were doing really well. I'm not sure if that's France still the case. Really to be well. honest, France, France came within one point to getting to the semi-finals. Like they drew South Africa. And did, yeah. No, it was rude. It was so close. <laughs> Like, they, they should have got through, honestly. Yeah. Um, the same thing with Ireland, New Zealand. We've dodged a bullet because we had Fiji in the quarters. Oh, so really? Were fairly, the others got fairly big contests, and then Argentina had Wales, and Wales died. <laughs> yeah, can't say, can't say I feel funny. particularly bad about that, to be honest. No. It, it <laughs> was, I mean, Wales aren't bad at the minute, but it still was fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the other one is. Do, 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 do. But yeah, um, England have a better track record in semi finals as a whole. Yeah. We have. Oh, hold on. I don't remember where I saw, saw the statistic, but it's something like out of the four semi finals England have played in, we've won three. South Africa, it's something like they've played in four and won two, and New Zealand have played in three and won two or something. Right. So we're, we're not. I don't. I don't remember the exact numbers. Yeah, um, yeah. It's something like that. So we have the best history in semi-finals. Um. England. Big statement. Got the so, detailing on this DLC is so good. Yeah. Uh, honestly, no, SCS um, have done well with us. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, a lot so, of people are putting their money more on England than South Africa this time around, which well, is good. The, thing. The, the points difference is it's tricky because they've played 45 mm. games total against each other. Yeah. One by England, 16, or one by Alpha. South Africa, uh, 27. The last <laughs> game that they played was... Here's the thing, the past four games, the winners alternated. Right. So the, la the last one was South Africa win in 2022, before that it was England in 2021. I just found a new before new back road. Ooh. Yeah, the last time they played at the World Cup was the final, actually, and South Africa won 32-12. Right. Um, before that, South Africa won both games in the 2007 World Cup. Right. Um, before that, in term I'm doing it in terms of World Cups because there's loads of international tournaments between uh -huh. them. Yeah, before yeah. that, it was 2003 that they last played at the World Cup and England won 25-6. <laughs> nice. It's a, it's a tricky one. Um, so yeah, I think they have a good chance, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's a, it's a tricky one. They could... We have a high... So here's the weird thing. The top point scorers against South Africa. Mm -hmm. The first is Johnny Wilkinson, obviously, and then you got 
going in, Percy Montgomery, who's both of which you are no longer playing. Third right. place is Owen Farrell with 79 points against them. Fourth is Andre Pollard with 60 points against him. Interesting. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to do as badly as they think, but I think it, it'll be close. I think South yeah. Africa deserve to win, but there is a chance we can pull it through. I think if we do, we'd have to go back to 2003 mm. tactics and go for three drop goals and shit like we Damn. Did the, yeah. in the pool stages. Yeah, not gonna lie, we were. I mean, we really we, had. We to... had Wilkinson last time we beat him. Yeah, quite. And Wilkinson's tactics seemed to work back then. No reason to suggest they wouldn't at the minute. Yeah, right. Other than the fact that old as shit. So we'll see. <laughs> um, I'll keep you posted and let you know what the score is, assuming your dad doesn't scream it through the house. Yeah, he probably will. It's all good. <laughs> he, no, to right, be fair, he's generally okay with keeping points to himself or keeping end results, but he gets very animated during the actual <laughs> match itself. Yeah, yeah, you can figure it out. <laughs> yeah, you, you and my dad will get you on great, You won't know the exact Sam. score, but you know who'll win. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, it's never, right, a, well, never well. a dull day when the rugby's on. Yeah, right. I'm going to go criticise the refereeing, so I'll see you later. <laughs> all right, in a bit, mate. In a bit. Well, that was fun. I just found a new uh, back road. That was a decent little detour to uh, do as well, to be honest. I do not regret that detour whatsoever. How the hell I didn't hit those bins is beyond me. POV looked like I had, but oh well. Keeping my eye out for all these like little back crows that is coming in on the West Balkans, because I'm not gonna lie, this DLC for like I think it's been one of the most um, one of those DLCs where it's actually like where it's actually advertised the more tighter roads on it and actually developed it as such. <coughs> So, it's nice. Hell. We'll get ahead of the Volvo here if we're going to be merging in here shortly. Mm. Oh, hello. That was a... Whoa! That was a... Uh... Delivery point. <clears throat> I really hope that SCS actually capitalise on like the back roads of the West Balkans and stuff and actually really implement them in the future because that's what makes the game a lot more enjoyable to me. It's a Stevens. It's a me, Mario. Well, that was uh, just so you know. That's going on YouTube, Stevens. Oh. <laughs> I'm recording for ETS2, brother. You're still recording that. <laughs> yep, I was recording oh. that. <laughs> you suck. Yeah. I didn't realise you were still recording. Nah, I went to go do my cooking halfway through because <clears throat> um, ah, okay. Becca needs the kitchen for. Uh, doing supper tonight, as she calls it. So, yeah. I was like, well, I'll get my cooking done and out of the way, and then at least, you know, you guys aren't. Well, she's not waiting, cause she was going to start at 7. So, she's got started by now, obviously. But then, um. Yeah, no worries. But then she's not, like, obviously, when her and dad are relaxing afterwards, like, they're not hearing the banging and clanging that I'm doing with cooking and stuff like that, you know? 
Yeah, fair. Plus, at least now, I can just do this recording for ETS2 and then jump on patrol. Yeah. And do the recording. And do some recording for the patrol as well. <laughs> Excuse yeah, me. I didn't realise you were recording. Like... Mm. Yeah, like... you fucked up. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah. It's me, Mario. It's -a me, a Mario. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? I think I understand this country. I got sent an image, and it's like, you know, a Chinese takeaway, but it's a share box, apparently for 20 quid. That's not like a share box, that's just my dinner. What is it? Yeah. I'll fucking send it, I'll post it in random media. That ain't a share box, that's a singular person's meal. Dude, this is awesome. The way the guardrails are on this slip road as well. <clears throat> it's an the media. Mm -hmm. That's a singular person's meal. Yes, I want to eat the green stuff. I won't. That's seaweed. Mm. Seaweed, uh, dried seaweed with sugar. Mm. Uh, and I also want to eat the rolls, the spring rolls. Don't you like spring rolls? Oh, yeah, fair enough. To be fair, it depends on who makes the spring rolls, because some people do spring rolls and it's not the best. Others make it and it's pretty decent. I hate spring rolls, in general. But everything else I'd eat. To be fair, the thing is, like, the issue I have with spring rolls is some people make them a bit too crispy to the point they're not crispy, they're fucking solid. But... You know, if you do it right, and it's kind of got some crisps to it, fucking love spring roll. Gotta be oily. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, Dave from Gogglebox, the um, the Malone's family dog has passed away. Say again. The dog from Gogglebox, that's called Dave, has passed <clears throat> away. Okay. Just thought I'd let you know. I don't Someone know who dog. Dave is, to be honest, so... It's a dog. I don't know who that dog is. And it's even better. <laughs> you have to suffer like we suffer. Mm, okay. I mean, I was suffering anyway, so... It's... yeah. Fair enough. Japan starts on wedding. 15-foot robot suit for space exploration. It, it looks like the, the armoured suit from, um, the fucking mover from... what's it called? I don't know. What is it called? Um... Alien. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's basically just that, but bigger. Oh, I'm with you. Well, I'm on a hill climb now. Let's hope this R620 can keep up with... What's it? 20 tons? Yep, 20 tons of pet food. Time to put all 620 horses to work. My god, though, what a landscape. That is just phenomenal. <coughs> really is. <laughs> like, I'm, ba I'm basically driving along a mountain road right now on the side of a mountain. There's a bridge up ahead, which we're going to be coming back across over. Oh, yep. So, yeah. Oh, this truck's trying. This truck's trying. <laughs> you know, as soon as it's going over 1500 RPMs, it's, it's struggling. <laughs> Bloody hell. Got, f got ninth gear all the way up to 41 miles an hour. Blood and sand. <laughs> oh, wow. Mate, they should have made a truck stop out of that. That would have been awesome. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Nidal Station. Stop Station? What? Oh, it's talking about a toll. <laughs> That's funny. Right, which one is the tag? Digital pass, so straight through on the right hand side. Okay. Happy days. Oh, let's have a go. Is this like a national park type thing, or is this like just. I mean, because. Given the road we're about to go down, <clears throat> I mean, I know we're now on the descent, <clears throat> but this is giving me like national park type sort of vibes. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, no, there was a police officer stopped a truck on the side of this thing and basically we almost got mowed down. Or oh, that cop almost got mowed down. What the hell? That's phenomenal. <laughs> like, literally, I've got no words. I'm going to put... I'll put that in the Discord once I'm done with this trip, guys. But my word, that is one hell of a view. <clears throat> I might actually have to put that as my thumbnail for this video, to be honest. seen a livestock trailer going out for once. <laughs> Don't see many of them in the ETS2 actually that are being hauled by the AI, so that's pretty cool. like all this road construction stuff but at the same time I kind of do because it gives me the feeling that SCS are going to be putting more into development here. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's actually the fact but yeah, just gives off that hint that they might be. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you know how I... Well, I'm not sure if uh, you were here, Stevens. I know you weren't sure but um, as and Stevens in particular, did you were you guys here when I mentioned about me having a feeling that SCS were going to be looking at expanding to Greece next? Yes, I was here. I think yeah. so. Yeah, it, it was confirmed actually in a live stream I saw um, when I was waiting for the chickens to cool down. I came back upstairs to watch a couple of West Balkans gameplay videos, and there was this one stating that. Um, basically what SCS are looking at they've actually got two fully staffed teams at the minute, one's working on Greece and another one is looking at um, the northern hemisphere, so basically um, the Nordic area to connect Norway, Sweden and I think it's Finland all together so yeah that's going to be pretty cool yeah <laughs> 
then once <clears throat> once they've got all that lot done then hopefully they're going to start refining the uh, cities and countries a lot more to make them a little bit more unique and hopefully add in tighter roads and such the like I don't know I genuinely wish they would make it like a one-to-one -one scale, but at the same time, the amount of time that would take as well, it would just be unreal. Yeah. Yeah, it would actually take an hour to get to your destination. Well, yeah, I mean, the drive I'm doing at the minute is oh. an hour and 45 minutes, I believe. But, well, no, no, that's actual time, but that's because I've got a Trucky app open that's telling me that. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> oh, we're at another border. Oh, this one has a, this one has a way bridge as well. That's one thing I quite like as well. They're. Uh, SES were quite heavy with the use of way bridges in American truck sim because like <clears throat> way bridges are a lot more common in America <clears throat> but um, I was surprised that like with European trucking in particular um, generally the, the companies will have a way bridge in the, uh, there at uh, the, their premises or their depot or whatever um, but there are there aren't as many way bridges at motorway services, for example, where there would be on like you know services in America. <laughs> um, but we still do get some public way bridges around, either by the Department of Transport or um, like I think uh, we like farms basically. Some farms can build way bridges on their land, and uh, basically then just obviously, obviously offer public way bridging or way bridge services for like a fee as such so yeah <clears throat> let's see if they tell us to weigh off here when we do the security checks Everything's in order. Have a nice journey. Sweet. So we don't need to weigh off. That's alright then. Where is the weigh bridge anyways? Is it like behind there or something? Oh no, it's an extra security check by the looks of it. Well, that would include weighing off, but yes. Uh, stop line. Nope, just completely runs it. <clears throat> so, where are we now, actually? That's a point. What country are we in now? Oh, I think this is Kosovo now. If my memory serves. <laughs> if that best way I can best way I'll be able to tell is garage purchase, because that tells you the countries. <laughs> oh yeah, Kosovo. <clears throat> and then I think Serbia's next. actually arrive at my destination in about half an hour. <clears throat> ETA saying it I'll be there for 17 past eight. like. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
It's interesting to be fair because ETS2 has always been like the eastern hemisphere of the, of the globe, whereas obviously ATS is just the western hemisphere of the globe. But <laughs> could you imagine if they actually incorporated like an Australian or an Asian trucking sim into ETS2? <laughs> I imagine just going all the way from London, UK to like Sydney, Australia or something like that <laughs> on the road. Every once in a while you see a gator or a snake. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You definitely need bull bars in, but then that would that would at least give uh, SCS an excuse to then put like Kenworths and Max and Peterbilts into um, Euro Truck Simulator 2. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Yeah, right. All I've got at the minute is the uh, Freightliner Classic XL. Uh oh, here comes trouble. It's a catty. <laughs> Oh. Cat, <laughs> okay, just a heads up, I am recording for YouTube. Hi. So. <clears throat> yeah, don't be like Steven Zoo. What, Steven, what did you do again? Like some of the Mario Kart reference or something? So it's a me, Mario. I I came and I was like, it's me, Mario! <laughs> Bloody hell. I was like, cheers, Steven, I just got that on record. And then he's like, uh, wait, what? <laughs> you said, well, that's going on YouTube now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which point, Steven's, like, yeah, Steven's like, oh! What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Well, <laughs> mm, true. Through. Oh wait, we don't get FBI over here. Yeah, now we get NCA. You know what, Shira? <laughs> oh hello, I think that was another side road. Cincinnati. Shira, I will hurt you. <laughs> that was a jeer. <laughs> hey. Hello. Oh, this has got to be. It says. That's basically saying no trucks, but we're gonna take take it anyways. <coughs> Shield, that wasn't Shearer that time. God damn it, Az. He wasn't Az either. Yo, that was Az, I can see it on his thing. Uh, oh, yeah. The farting, yeah, the farting was me, it's just... Yeah. But that... Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was me. Oh, and, and you were wow, worried that Scanny's I wouldn't have been an yeah, let's face it, we're the man children. I've always been child, mentally I've always been child. <laughs> what the dog doing? God damn it, you guys. Yeah, I'm not the one to help. Hey? What did you say, cat? Oh yeah, there's food downstairs. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right, let's see what this place is all about. Ooh. Oh, this isn't a through road? Why is that not a through road? I was friends with Big Darn. <clears throat> oh, there's so much potential here. I feel like that doesn't really fit the five that we're trying to have. Because if you're going to invite sales, mm. then that would open up a whole ton of can of worms. Would be like 20 Hang on, this has to be a through road, surely. You know, like, well, why not air it? Huh? Why not? Yeah. Oh, wow. So you get like. Oh, that's cool. So, SES are now... Oh, that is cool, actually. So, they're now incorporating the fact that you can use industrial estates as rest areas. Oh, that's... Yeah. You know what? Well done, SES. My hat's off to you guys. <laughs> Gen it genuinely is. <clears throat> they, they have actually, like, really captured, you know, what... 
tramping is here or what you know doing over the road as it's called is with this DLC actually Shifting my load on that one. Bloody hell. Yeah, this is awesome. the sheer level of detail and this alone is just fantastic. I mean, if it makes you feel better, I did texture to Do you text it, Pete? Two? Seven, you would pass. Did you serve a mute as? He muted himself, so I server muted him to see if you noticed. Oh. Uh, wow. He's got the same powers as me. Huh. And I knew it. <laughs> he muted himself, and so I went, okay, so you. Fair. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> How did you find out? Huh? What were you did you find out? Were you going to do it too? Yeah, I was. <laughs> Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, by the way, the... The latest CRP video time to see the fucking thing, dude. That fucking caption. <laughs> Say that again, Shira. Uh, well, entirely oh missing God. the point. Yeah, they, I'm sorry, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I might try and make a thing out of that if I can. It was one of those, it was at that moment he knew he fucked up. Yeah, literally. I was just <laughs> like, you know what? I can see that being an editing style. Yeah. <laughs> Did you just connect them? No. <laughs> Look me at him. He's not an F guy. Uh -huh. He is. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's the green light. Whoops. I moved into AFK. <laughs> Fair enough. Really? Full exhaust brake and you can barely slow 20 tons down. Jesus Christ. I can't believe it. In, in a month's time, it's going to be my two years being in this community. <laughs> Is it? Holy yeah. shit. Ooh. Well, in a month and eight days. Ah. Has to be some sort of like sneaky back road here that I'm missing. <clears throat> has to be. <laughs> Let's see. May 13th, 2021 is when I joined up. Nice. 29th of no, no way. 
Yeah, 29th of November, 2021. I joined. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You joined just after my birthday. My birthday's November 14th. Yeah. this way. <laughs> Apparently I'm on a dirt road now, even though it's, tar it's clearly tarmacked. <laughs> oh, Az is back. Yep. Hey Az. Hi Az, how are you? How's it going dude? Oh, that's good. He's not talking. That's good. He doesn't want to talk to us. I see how it is. Oh, he's just shy. Yeah, because I was muted on my end, but so I'm fucking so muted as my mouth. Right. So we're going on the way bridge here, guys. Which makes no fucking sense. Oh, yeah, so mute someone that's muted. Smart idea. <laughs> it's a prank. It wasn't me prank. then. What? You have a pointless yeah. prank. My total weight is 35 tons. I may proceed. Uh, you might need to go on a diet there, bud. <laughs> yeah. You shut your fucking mouth and mind your business. Oh, you can say that to a man who can't a woman, though. <laughs> if I said that to my ex, I'd be fucked. <laughs> Why didn't you well, say it more fun. often, then? <laughs> Sorry, I'd be dead. <laughs> Can't say that on YouTube. <laughs> I'd be deceased. You'd be yeah. unalived? I'd be toaster bath by her. <laughs> toaster bath topped. Yeah, you're not allowed to say that as well. They'll probably say you can't do that. You can't say toast the bath anymore. Right, where are we now? We are in, now in Serbia, guys. I don't know. Go straight on. Right. Like the chat. I don't know. She didn't react. Oh, 
Oh, there's a... Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? We'll check it out. <laughs> this is a pretty cool. Just casually blocking a junction, but, <clears throat> you know. <laughs> whatever. Sightseeing, right? Yes. <sighs> Not gonna lie, my truck looks goddamn good. sure if that was like an old style Mercedes or what. Looks pretty cool though. <clears throat> hmm. That was a random noise. We're coming in pretty hot for this.
I think I just activated my parking brake when I went to hit the map here. <laughs> this could get interesting in a minute. There we go. Ooh. Never mind. What? Was it? Oh my god, I can't believe that. I just got duped by my sat nav. Oh, wait, that is a pretty cool petrol station. God damn it. <laughs> on YouTube will say, as losing their mind, they lost it a long time ago. I say to that person, fuck you. Won't be the last time you hear it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong, but shut up. <laughs> it's a reminding me of my slow de 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 deviation. Mental, mental deterioration. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs>
pleasant surprise that they actually didn't pull out in front of me. Sorry for yelling, my dad. <laughs> yeah. You're alright, mate. Hmm, gotcha. Jivak discovered. I probably butchered the pronunciation out of that. Mm -hmm. All the way to high hell, but you know. Mm. Oh, wow. <sighs> oh, dude. Hey, photo trophy captured. Happy days. So noticing a theme about some of the some of the garages are now being placed actually at strategic points near uh, like literally next door to companies for business and stuff. Nice. Yeah. God damn it. What happened? <laughs> Almost crashed into another truck. Completely misread their <laughs> maneuver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Using the little mini slip roads for certain roundabouts. Yep. Brownie points, SCS brownie points. <coughs> Alright, let's see what this is. Oh, of course, it's a Renault dealership. Hey, it's Chloe. Hi, Chloe. 
Chloe, Sorry. what is your avatar? Or your display picture, or what the... What the fuck? <laughs> Which one? <clears throat> the fucking cat with a dummy in its mouth. <laughs> I love Natural it. Natural hell. Wow. <laughs> that just explains Chloe's existence in a nutshell. Exactly. It's, it's more the fact that this cat is like looking like surprised that it's just got this surprise object now in its mouth. Excuse me, excuse me, we call them binkies in the Americans. Oh my god, in the Americans, yes, because that, that's good England. No, they really fucking don't. We have plenty of American friends, they really fucking don't. They call Some them pacifiers. Them either pacifiers or binkies. Fucking I've been, fucking I've always I don't know why. Chloe, you are a All fucking of my American binky. friends that have children. Thank you. I am a pacifier. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, as you. Oh, Chloe, you are a fucking binky. Thank you. It's not that's, a good thing. Yeah, that's not I, a I, good I, thing. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> To be honest, when I watched Judge Dredd and they said they were gonna, uh, he's like, I watched a clip of it, mm -hmm. and I was like, this rumor has been pacified. I instantly just thought, has he just gone around and put like pass? <laughs> <laughs> just Judge Dredd walking into a fucking nursery, just like, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Three years in the cubes for crying. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is? Like, oh, yeah. Jesus Christ, Dredd. Also, that's another thing I've noticed as well. Street sweepers. That's a pretty interesting dynamic, actually. Yeah. For well, um, I hate street sweepers because well, they're they've one-sided. Ad they've added them into uh, the Balkans DLC or the West Balkans DLC, anyways. <clears throat> but have they designed them correctly? <laughs> if they're they on the left-sided hand road, <laughs> they sit right-sided, I think. Yeah, no, they actually no. do look pretty accurate. I mean, you know, you still get the amber flashing lights and stuff with them. <clears throat> Oh, and tow trucks are now a thing as well, apparently. <laughs> this is cool. This really is cool, actually. This is made... It's a whole new enjoyable side to uh, ETS2, actually. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> ETS2, um, SES just released um, the West Balkans DLC. And I'm not gonna lie, it's actually they've done a really awesome job on it. Um, it feels really authentic, um, as if you you were actually driving in the real place. Um, it actually feels alive. It doesn't feel like a copy and paste like some of the other DLCs that they've done in the past. So yeah. <clears throat> Just from stopping and sightseeing yeah. in this, it's added an extra 20 minutes onto my arrival time because I was supposed to be there five minutes ago. <laughs> Are we going to believe in that whole situation that's now currently going on to CMs? Because um, I think at that good point it's out of our reach. Go to GCT. Yeah, please do. If I if I'm a binky, does that make you a twinkie? 
No, I don't come into the equation at all. Yes, you do. Eat. Since when? You don't get it, never mind. <laughs> what? I don't, you don't get it, never mind. <laughs> What's a Twinkie? Okay, think about it. What's a Twinkie? One of those, like, uh... It's like a cake with cream, right? That's it. It's, yeah, that's it. It's one of those American okay, things. Okay, so if the cream is in... Okay, so the cream is inside of it. So if I call you a Twinkie... Um, you're overlooking... Or you've oh, got Chloe. one massive oversight in your insult there, Chloe. I'm what? not... I'm What's not that? American. I'm British, so no. Okay, so then you're a fucking Maltese. <clears throat> Do you know what a fucking Malteser is, you fucking It's gang. like it's like a little wafer testicle with chocolate around it. It's not a wafer testicle because it's not a wafer. Once again, I referred to my previous statement, Yank. It's like a crunchy little ball with like it's Cl Chloe, just that still does not add to <laughs> Chloe, just <laughs> what quit. the fuck is it? How just do you quit, how do you explain while, it? Just quit while you're ahead, mate. A Malteser is no. a Malteser. So what's the inside part called though? A fucking wafer? What? No, it's not a wafer because it's not a wafer. Shut up! <laughs> it's literally a chocolate malt streak. That's why it's called a malt it's a wafer. It's, it's not a wafer, wafer though, that's the thing. It's a wafer, it's a wafer. It's not. You wanna know what it is? It's a spheroid of malted milk. It's not a wafer. Like I said, it's a malt easer. It's a fucking wafer. It's not a wafer because a wafer is not a oh malted sphere of milk. It, it's a wafer. I can fix this issue. It's a lose lose. It's a wafer, not a malt. Guess what? Let's keep it at that. It's malt. Because that's what it is. You're American. You wouldn't understand. It's a different chain of malt and a wafer. Big difference. There is a massive difference between a wafer like, it's and like malted milk. It's like the same milk. type of wafer that's inside of a fucking Kit Kat. It's the same material. It really isn't. That, right, is. Chloe. Chloe, it's really not. Have you actually had it, a it Chloe? Have you, have you had a Malteser? Yes, yes because it have. tastes the same. Right. Doesn't mean shit. I can literally flavour <laughs> literal poo like fucking milk, and then have you drink it. Well, milk you, doesn't have a would taste. Would you still argue that? Or, or milk yes, it does. It tastes like fucking milk, and I'm nuts. Milk doesn't oh have a taste. <laughs> <laughs> no, as as okay, as a point, it's not if a If I wafer. take a cigarette, a physical, just straight cigarette, and I flavour it like fucking cocaine, and I have you eat it, and I get a bottle of coke, and flavour that as cocaine, and have you eat the glass. Is glass now the same as a cigarette? No, just because it tastes the same doesn't yeah. mean shit. It just means yeah. your it fucking is. taste buds are too stupid to understand the concept. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Un unmute her. <laughs> Another wonderful <laughs> thing. A wafer is made out of flour and water. To s <laughs> Not milk! There's no milk in wafers! <laughs> <laughs> Demoted. Okay, okay, you got me. You got me. I, I give up. It's it's a it's a mole. It's a wafer. <laughs> I'm going to ban them. I swear to God. <laughs> You're not banning him over a fucking Malteser. I, I fucking will. <laughs> you fucking won't. <laughs> I will do the report. I will do the paperwork. <laughs> I will do everyone's paperwork for a week. That's not how it works, I'm afraid, as. <laughs> I fucking wish it was. <laughs> do you believe me, brother? So do I. <laughs> Everyone in other same positions. Equi I'm going to Hudson. I'm telling Hudson now. <laughs> yeah, make it a BCSO problem. I'm dragging you into it because you're a witness. Oh, fuck off. 
So you are you are a witness. <laughs> What were you saying? What were you saying, Stevens? That... Stevens, what were you saying? Sorry for the thing that I'm about to do now in said chat. Okay. That, you know, I, yeah. Okay, I guess I'll have a look. Uh, I'll, I'm going to open it on my phone though, because reasons. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Uh, F1. The fuck have I been pinged by? Oh, the server's telling me it's restarting. Interesting. I'll, let, I'll see what the other CM say once it comes up in our group chat and go from there. Yeah, we just decided to turn it over to you guys. Yeah. There's a group chat for everything, kids. There's a group <laughs> chat for my existence. Oh, yeah, it. which involves everyone <laughs> but you. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be fucking surprised at this rate. So I'm just pipes in. So as has done something. Oh, for fuck's sake. What yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, number number one is anyone hurt? Number two are the police involved. <laughs> <laughs> no, and we don't know. <laughs> ah, shit. What do you mean you don't know? Yeah, right. Say four Leo ones and I before I jump. I'm gonna take out the robot unit. So good, as if we get three or four Leo one with vehicles have cages, I'm gonna take a bike out. Okay. I was thinking about going in there if I'm going on this Leo, which doesn't have a cage. Why would a bike have a cage, Liam? I said the Merc. Oh. Sam still hasn't signed me off for the bike yet. Has he not? Huh. No. I thought he said you passed that. I don't know anymore. I'll query oh, that okay. with him, mate. Huh? Just, just query. Like, fine. query that wait, with wait, him, wait. mate. Yeah. And if I have passed, then I can go motor unit. Yeah. Yeah, I do love when I see um, Oops. people running around in a motorbike with short sleeves as a motor unit, and it's just like, yeah, have fun with road rash, bitch. Yeah. At least we've got some form of arm protection. Not yeah, much, right. but theoretically, the shirt would actually be different. Yeah. <laughs> That's the reason why I haven't rode the motorbike. Because I don't know if I passed or anything like that. Oh. No, 
that's the one thing Sam needs to do that he hasn't done. Yeah, what's that? All three of the motorbikes, when they haven't been put into the BCSO, all of them are aware of setup correctly. Because they don't, they have all the lights are fixed now, which is great. But the sirens aren't the BCSO sirens, they're the LSPD sirens. Okay. Stick Steer, with them. You stay away from my bikes. Stick with them for now, I'll sort that. <coughs> I've Okay. Sam's also yes. in the process of, I think, adding my SAMR stuff as well. The rest yeah. of I said, have I passed my Mercer? <laughs> thing for DPS yet? Just okay. wondering. You'll get a delayed response because he's currently touching himself over the rugby. <laughs> yeah. Sam, have a rugby match on. <laughs> yep, it's England yeah, versus there's... South Africa as well. So he's going to be doing it quite vigorously. <laughs> yeah, as much as I hate to admit it. But to be like honest, any time there's rugby on, he's straight away. Oh, 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 oh. Like but, Sam. To be fair, though, it is England versus South Africa, so I can be a little bit more lenient with him on this occasion. Yeah. Ah, I'll just watch it on reruns. Oops, just watch it on patrol. That's what he's gonna be doing <laughs> the entirety of patrol if he gets on. Probably. Right, where are we going here? Hang on. It's what? Let's pull him over. Where the hell am I? Oh, uh, where are you? I really don't know. I'm in some sort of gated community. Like, there. I'm not sure if this is like a glorified truck stop or what, but yeah, it's interesting. What? Is eh? Oh, this is like oh, okay. This is a truck stop. It's a uh... oh yeah. I ain't gonna fit in there. Holy crumbs! Well, I'm gonna fit. I won't even fit under that. I'm gonna... Oh my god! Right, hang on. So it appears to be some sort of truck wash. But, I'll be real, I'll, I'll bend my stacks if I try and go under there, but, we so should. Don't ground yourself. No, not grounding myself, potentially going to fucking squash myself, if anything, but, we should that either. Be, yeah. Bad. yeah, no, exactly, but, I should hopefully, yeah, get around that way, that's, that's pretty cool though, i got got to say. That's pretty, that's pretty dope, actually. All that for a recruitment agency, though. What the hell? <coughs> but, yeah. No, some sort of truck stop or something like that. That's quite cool. Oh. <laughs> there's, a, there's a Kenworth rotator. A Peterbilt, even better. Rotator for ETS2. Oh, no. <laughs> Yes, ah, uh, fuck him, ah, uh, please. <laughs> Just Apparently. nick a random. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, we do have American rotators and heavy wreckers in this country. But it's before mm. they bought in a little out, or not really outdoor in them, but you weren't allowed to, um. It's a pain they have to import them now because they have to conform with this country's. CO2 emissions and all that crap. <laughs> Which none of them do. <laughs> no, but because they came in before that legislation, they have a bypass. Or, if you really want to be a dick, you import them into France, where they don't give a shit, or Germany, and then drive them into this country and <laughs> register them here. Because they're not a direct import at that point. Yeah. All I can say to that is good luck. It's expensive as fuck. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it's why companies like Crouch Recovery haven't got any more um, heavy records or rotors, as American style ones. It's because it's too expensive. Instead, they bought a bunch of ex army Oshkoshes and have outfitted them as fucking rotors right, right. and wreckers. Mm. Smart. It's easier to keep them. Yeah, it's a smart and way around it. And built for it as well. Yeah. <laughs> I 
to the Pamir New York. Also, it's called Gold Recovery as well. there's going to be some sort of truck dealer that we're approaching again or truck dealership rather <coughs> it's, it's got a workshop right next to it so it pulls up and it's a fucking oh dump. it's fucking Ivaco ew wasted trip yeah fuck him that being said, I'm, I am actually slightly interested to see when ETS2 release the Ivaco S way into the game. And when they'll have the Ivaco tuning pack to go with it as well, to be honest. So, yeah. Never. So. Alright. Um. I'm going to quickly hop into this workshop to get the truck serviced, but then also I'm going to quickly nip to the toilet, I think. We'll keep the stream entertained. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Oh dear. Uh, service. Ooh, almost four grand in servicing bills. Fun. Alright, be right back. Okay. Alright guys, we're back. Okay. Welcome back, Mr. Shield. Thank you. Right. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> right, let's get moving again.
Okay, if you're gonna stop there then. I'll take the initiative. <laughs> I'm curious to see like what this would be like in the daylight guys because yeah Missing quite a lot of it if we're doing this during the night, but hey hi <clears throat> Wonder why they've closed that off <coughs> This is the start of a toll road. Okay then. hell would you beep your horn when you can see that I'm fueling up? Wait your turn. Yeah, the fucking way I go. Fuel, I need to go places. Do you know who I am? I'm right, Pickering. <laughs> right? Mm. Just like as if there aren't any other fuel islands to uh, deal with there. <coughs> <coughs> what a knob jockey. I know plenty of those. 
hours of walking. Mm. I can imagine mine. Oh shit, I, I pinged that scene I realised I'm in London this week. Yeah, it will be. I just realised oh, he said that. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that might be an issue. <sighs> to be fair, I did ping all the CMs. Yeah. It's alright, See, right. it's all inclusive. Shit, yeah, right. Come on. It's there we go. Being a CM. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Apart from the joys of being a CM team, even when you're on holiday. No, I've got a problem. Fuck off. I'll do it when I get up. <laughs> Mate, that's literally the story of my fucking life, alright? What happened? I can't remember. Then why the fuck are you calling me? Yeah, right? Hmm. Something happened. Do I need to deal with it? No, not really. Then what the fuck do you want? Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna still cry about it? Probably. Who's <laughs> pinged me? What the fuck? Oh, it's elsewhere, okay. Mm. Can people stop streaming for five minutes? Jesus Christ, I don't want mm. advertisement for your stream. Just mute Nothing. the server. I mean, the channel. What is my mm. role in that server? Novi sad discovered. Oh god, all my mates for us after playing Forza. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> all of them. <laughs> oh. That's what makes it worse, I'm the only one's not there. Because <laughs> I don't have Forza. Amazing. I'm just saying, like, yep, yeah, you guys do you. Are you gonna join us? I neglect to realise I don't have Forza. What do you mean you don't have Forza? Oh, for fuck's sake, we're not having this conversation. <laughs> you don't have Forza yeah. Horizon 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5? Yeah, Unless right. they play a lot of Halo, <laughs> and they've been like, don't you have Halo? And I'm like, no, because I know I won't really play it that much. I like the Halo games, I like the storyline, but I just don't think I'll play it. It's like, I can't go back and play a lot of old games now because I'm so used to like upgraded graphics and when I go back I just don't like it. It's just because I remember it. Forza. It's just like I remember it all being nice and cool <laughs> graphics just because at the time that was the best graphic. Yeah. Hmm. But now going back to it, it's just ruining my experience for it. It's just like, this looks like a pile of shit. Yes. <laughs> it's near enough the coast, mate. So I'm gonna leave it as I like it. That's, that's how it's gonna stay. Yeah, quite. Happy <clears> memories. Where the hell are they? Who's this? Tis me. Why out, Frost? I would want you join the DLC there. Oh, absolutely. I'm making the most of it, bruv. I really am. <laughs> you saw games up yesterday. You just deadened. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, mate, I went to the event. Mm. Um, mate, I, I was in heaven. 
and I'm going to be honest, I kind of came in here to see if I, Stevens, if I could steal you in about five minutes to be a civ and then do a LAO training. Yeah. So yes. That was my yes. Good. I, 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 very I, would ask, I would ask as, but I currently have as taken to Shadow so that way he can start doing training so that way I don't have to fucking do every single one of them. No, I'm just going to not do them anymore. I just refuse to until you show up. That, I, <laughs> I don't have confidence anymore. It's <laughs> <laughs> your fucking call. I don't mind doing them. I did ask you if you wanted to do... I'll or, happily do them. Lungs. I'll happily do them and ride lungs. It's just... <laughs> if I deal with the same people over and over. If someone gets staff to do a retraining, I'm going to be annoyed. <laughs> no, if they do a retraining, they don't get tossed to you. They goes up. Good. So if I have to deal with them again, there can only <laughs> there can only be one. <laughs> I'm here for a retraining. What the fuck did you do wrong, and why are you still breathing? Basically, what? I'm just I'm gonna just kind of have you shadow and basically take lead on Vipers, and I'll handle the other guy because the messages the message I got from Tommy after the interview. Yeah, no, I'm gonna be keeping him. And... Yeah. <laughs> You know, you know exactly how I'm gonna react with them. So yeah, yeah. Y you, that's you. why I'm just gonna give you the camera one and the one who knows what he's doing. No, I was gonna say I'll just be like, you know what you're doing. Just do your training yourself. I'm just here. <laughs> no, they will be with me for the most part, but I'll get you to shadow him on his traffic stops with Stephen while I do some go over some other stuff with the walker person. Copy that. Try and get the walker person done first because he has a bit of a fucking time issue, I guess. I don't know, not like it. Also, heads up, shield is streaming. Streaming? Fucking recording. recording. Yeah. It's the same thing. It's fine, that means it's, it's not the same thing. Need, should someone need to really ask about anything, shield now has audio recording of everything that I've just said. No, it's just good to delete it. <laughs> so, so that is. Now I am. Like. Just straight deletes it. Yeah, it's like, like oh, did you need that? Sorry. <laughs> Shield's looking out for me, oh my god. Shit, yeah, right? Also, Shield, he came back to me, he said no, he hasn't signed me up on my motorbike. Oh. Damn, well, that's rough. <laughs> what well, if you want, if, ask him if you can ride with me tonight, because I'm going out on motorbike. He said he's happy if I can do it with a, a pair, either DPS or BCSR, to be fair. He, he knows I'll, that I'll I'm do... going out on the bike tonight, so... Fuck it, you know what? I'll do motes with both of you. I need to uh, make sure there's three in a cage first, because otherwise I can't run it. Ah, okay. That's per term <laughs> of the update. That's per what? BCSO. Update to the BCSO traffic SOP. Oh, I see. Okay. Alright, let's go pick up this tanker. And That's we're going to take that to somewhere in Bosnia, was it, I think? I don't know. Yeah, he said, uh, no, but if you want to run with someone, I'm happy that you can do that as a pair. But you might as well just pass you then. Like, if he's happy for you to go with someone else, like, you're not... You know how to ride the bike. No, as in someone else who is motor qualified, even if it's a different agency. Like, as long as they're qualified, then he can basically pair up with them. Because technically, yeah. moto, motor riders can ride solo, but obviously we try to avoid it just due to the multiple safety implications that there are. Mm. Yeah. And he said, then after that, he said, just haven't had chance to sign you off fully myself. Yeah. What? Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I'll just I'll just abuse him later. Yeah, right. <laughs> you bloody bastard you fucking Egypt. I don't know mm. what that means. <laughs> mm. I heard someone Irish say it once. And now I use it. I'm gonna do the American thing. I'm gonna keep myself close to my heritage. Yeah, right. <laughs> Well, I've got British blood in my veins, yes, and you threw the tea into the harbour, and yet you still want to drink it. 
That's a you Pick problem. one. That's a them problem. It's like when someone runs around and is like, oh, I've got German heritage, and then they like start claiming that they're German and that they've got German. It's like, no, you're American. You've got American history. Yes, you have German heritage. Doesn't make you German. Otherwise, I'm Scottish, Irish, Welsh, British, Norwegian, Nordic, French, German, Russian, Spanish. I've got a bit of fucking everything inside me. And I'm not talking diseases. <laughs> It's yeah, like keep it yourself, would you? <laughs> what the disease is? <laughs> this is that thing of like I I understand like wanting to be in touch with your heritage, but at the same time, it's don't start calling yourself German just because you got German heritage. That ended the generations ago that left Germany. Yeah, right. Right, let's head on out. Do do. Yeah, right. Kind of nice when you got this sound to your truck, though. Um. <laughs> I just want, I just want that, just on a loop, just, <laughs> that good. Yeah, yeah, right. I want to come to work in a truck like that, and I just want to sit in the passenger seat. I'll, I'll happily just sit there in the passenger seat, just all day, just lying asleep, just listening to that sound. <laughs> Mate, you and me both. videos of the London Underground because it's all like dark and shit and barely see fuck all on the tracks. I mean you got one of the underground trains come past and you just end up with fucking splashes where the um, contact points for the electrified rails are lifting and parking. Red X, never mind. into an automotive place with 23 tons of diesel fuel. This should be interesting.
No, no, it's not gonna fucking say anything. Fucking, it was happy ass. It shouldn't have just, it should have been discussed, but no, fuck, I can't be asked. Not my place to say. Two-way sure. Oh, well. Well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, well. Are you patrolling tonight? Uh, actually. All right, mate. Well, hopefully you do. All right, let's see. Where are we going here that we can pass through? Well, there aren't any garages in there, so no point really doing that. Well. Oh, well, I wonder what that is. Maybe another recruiting agency, I don't know. No Angeluca. Interesting. Thank you very much, Mr. Renault. <laughs> well, I'll take a win when I can get one. <coughs> and that most certainly was one. Oh, I talked with Hightower and uh, Jay. Um, Back yet? Yeah, yesterday. Uh, I think you probably knows already. We're switching vehicle packs. Yeah, I'm aware, mate. <clears throat> yeah, vehicle packs and EUP by the looks of it. E oh, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, that was close. Just heard my tires scratching then because I was braking so hard trying to not go into someone. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's like that last minute as it comes to stop, you just hear that. <laughs> like that. I was just like, ooh. <laughs> Uh, what? I uh, remember I told you new uniforms, new cars. Hmm. Did you forget so soon? I'm hurt. It's been a rough 24 hours for me, man. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I was talking about staff chat well, just uh -huh. chalk it up to me being an asshole. That's fine, mate. I'm, uh, I'm recording at the minute, mate, so I'm probably not going to mention too much on it at the moment, but... Well, plus we got mixed company. Um, if you want to go to another channel, Nick, we can do this now or we can do it later. It's up to you. Uh, one second. If you're controlling tonight, you're probably going to want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. Deputy Chloe's not going to be there tonight. <laughs> well. Interesting. <clears throat> I just did a county. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, feel free to show off your new vehicles again, Hightower. Or, well, semi-new. <laughs> Repetitively new. <laughs> Do what? I said, feel free to show off your new vehicles. Well, semi-new. Well, repetitively new. <laughs> you mean non-lore? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm a jumping game. Alright, mate. I'm probably not patrolling tonight, but... Yeah, go see if that you want to cause was, some chaos, mate. That shit last night was enough chaos for one week. I was gonna say I did. I missed it. Uh, I missed the patrol yesterday. Kind of wish you I hadn't. Had now. More important shit. You had more important shit. Uh, sort of. I mean, I'll be honest. I just got home and I was just like, I just want to chill. And with West Balkans DLC that just dropped, I was like, you know what? I deserve to have a night off. <laughs> Dude, you know how many assets we have in our fucking server now? It's something like 500 odd, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that's mainly from the civilian vehicles. Why and everything they be like all that. Combined into one pack? Because then I've got to go through the vehicle metas and the, all the meta files and. Oh! Clip the stats on the barrier there. Um, oh, then I've got to go through all the meta files and combine them. So I was like, mm, nah. We gotta change that one spawn point because I tried to spawn on top of the fucking crane on the other drop in the deck. <laughs> oh yeah, I love it when that happens now. I'm just like. <laughs> I just find it funny. I'm sure we can find someone which fixes spawn points to a set location. Well, I mean, um. Eventually, you'll be able to spawn either at your last location or your apartment. Yeah. So. Well, there you go then. So, happy days. <laughs> I just fell from the sidewalk in Mission Row. And some hit something solid. I don't want the fuck I hit. <laughs> oh, God, nice. Why the fuck did it spawn me way up with Mount Soda? What the fuck? 
doesn't fucking take the message off the screen. Yeah. Hello, is that a fighter jet? That fucking is. Goddamn. And there goes the other one. Just, just constantly cruising down this road or something. Yeah, and then it goes and peels off. Oh, wow, it's one me. Wait a minute. Over here. Uh, I'll tell you what, just <laughs> teleport to me. Uh, or, I, or I can bring you to me, it's up to you. Uh, I don't have the option anymore? Oh, wait a minute. I'm looking at the wrong screen. Hey, there you are. Okay, so... I will show you a bunch of options. You choose which one you want to set up first. Uh, I guess maybe uniform. I'm going to show you multiple options. Or what you can do is you can actually go to server screenshots and see the ones I've already set up. short sleeve ones. Okay, a second. You want the collared shirt, the polo shirt, which one? Uh, the collared shirt, I think, the short sleeve one. Okay, you want blue, gray, or white? Uh, blue. Okay, I so saw some class C blue. <coughs> Is this the one you want? Yeah, that one. Is that under MP pad or is it just normal player appearance? It's MP pad. Oh, okay, cool. So you can create a new one or clone one that you have so you can change the clothes on it. Uh, okay. Edits. Go ahead. Alright, under clothes. Uh, I'm using mask uh, 233. That's just the earpiece. That's all that is. Yeah, that's what I have. Upper body is going to be set to 11. Okay. Lower body is going to be set to uh, 185, texture 2. For some reason, the textures aren't loading. Give it a second. I, I have to... Or scroll yeah. back, or... Just go back one menu option and go back in. Sometimes it takes a minute to cast to your... Oh, with the white stripe? Yeah. Okay, now I see it. What next? Uh, bags and parachutes be, uh... Alright, so it's gonna be 119. Damn, okay. And your... Senior deputy, I believe? 
So yours will just be a silver badge. All right. What texture? That's sending on uh, the first one. That's sending okay, us yeah, on that's too it. big of a diversion, so we're just going to bypass it. <laughs> All right. Your shoes. Uh, I prefer something dressier than tennis shoes. What number? I'm using 38, which is cowboy boots. But that's just because I'm a badass. Uh, what texture? The first one. Okay, then yeah, I've got them already. Uh, scarves and chains. Um, I use uh, 181. <laughs> what, oh, I see it. Okay. Uh, shirt. Uh, shirt and accessory would be, uh, hang on a second, I gotta... So shirt and accessory, I use 94. Damn. And you can use either the green or the black taser handle, it's up to you. That was close. Okay, uh, body armor. Body armor, um, I go with, uh, 29, but you can choose any option where it puts the mic either on your front of your shirt, or you can actually put it up on the lapel because you have a lapel that you can use, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the thing on your shoulder, the epaulets. Badges? Badges is gonna be, um, let's see, you're a senior deputy, right? So that's, uh, this stripes is it. I always forget. For my department. Three? God damn it. No, that'd be sergeant for three. Uh, two. If anything, it's probably two. Yeah. So it's gonna be the, um, it's going to be the white uh, chevrons with the blue with the blue border. It's probably going to be somewhere near the end. What badge number? Uh, Out of one ninety. Hang on a sec. Let me uh, let me find it for you. Should be 186. Yeah, 186 looks right. Okay, yep, there they are. Uh, jackets. Uh, jackets is going to be uh, 513 texture. Well, there's three. There's three alternating textures in there, so just it should be the first or second one. It could be number five because that's what I'm using. <laughs> The only reason there's multiple textures Whoa. is because I can actually use it to customize it for people's, uh... Just completely missed that van that I just merged so into. It's texture like, 2. Shit. Yeah, use texture 2. Okay. Uh, I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, now, if you want... Uh, which hat do you... Because the only hat... Ugh. I'm just gonna deafen them out, guys, because we've not got that long left on this journey. And, let's face it, Scania V8 engine sounds a lot better than whatever the fuck they're doing with their uniforms, setting it up or whatever. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. What's the chances this asks us to go on an X-ray machine thingy majigger again? Oh, as is back. <laughs> as is frost. Bloody hell. <laughs> no X-ray machine this time. Happy days. Which is over there. Mm. 
Yep, sorry, blue car, sucks to be you. Guys, what the hell? to 43 miles an hour here, but we're going to say screw that, and we're just going to do 56 anyways. Angeluca discovered. It's actually coming into the town now. <laughs> This is a recruitment agency by the looks of it. Yep, recruitment agency. Whoops, hang on. <coughs> oh no! What have we got? A Scania dealership, eh? Happy days. That's well hidden away. <laughs> Seems like it is just a dealership though, it's not a workshop like some of the bigger dealers. <laughs> or some of the bigger dealerships I should say. <laughs> Rushing me. <laughs> We're near enough there, anyways, guys. So, oh my god, yep, two hours left, or just under. some more ETS2 content going guys because I do enjoy doing it um, and then uh, yeah hopefully guys we can oops a green light just to approach now happy days um, and then hopefully I can maybe start pushing out some more ETS2 content I don't know um, and do some proper long haul type trips and go from there really I suppose guys but, uh, yeah. Keep right. But well, we want to be turning left here. <laughs> so, 
So take your time, pal. Next port of call will be this garage that we're going to purchase, and then hopefully uh, we'll be on to our final destination. Get ready to turn left. So yeah, um, quite chuffed with how today's panned out. To be fair, guys, because I was supposed to be doing the ETS2 recording yesterday, but obviously I was just too tired to, and it ended up getting a little bit skewed. Whoops, almost hit that guardrail. Um, and then usually my Saturdays are basically, uh, usually my Saturdays are pre-booked, if you will. They're, um, you know, they're, they're reserved for getting ready for work, so I start my working week on a Sunday. I'm going where you're telling me to, Grandma. Jesus. <clears throat> um... So, yeah, but I've been, even though I started off late this Saturday, I've actually kept ahead of the curb, curb, curve, and just kept, uh, and just kept hammering on with it and actually done quite well. So not only will I be able to do the DPS recording later, or the CRP recording, I should say, um, I'm going to be doing the, uh, we've got this ETS2 recording as well to edit, which I'll do next week got plenty of content that's already been pushed out guys i will keep pushing it out as a matter of course um but i've got i think like the next month uh covered so yeah can't complain with that at all um so yeah we'll get sorted to our final destination guys and then uh we will we will call it there i think um and yeah, um, I just want to say, like, not necessarily an apology, but as you guys have probably noticed, there's been. I'm usually hoping to try and get out like two videos a week, and at the moment, I'm just not meeting that. I'm not able to meet it. Um, <clears throat> just so busy, guys. So busy. Um,. August and September have been quite busy for me, and then uh, this month, um, it's been shit. Uh, it's like October was supposed to be, you know, my catch up with everything type month, and that's just not <clears throat> not been able to be the case. Um, a close family member of mine um, has recently gotten cancer at the start of this month. Um, you know, uh, my missus is in a situation which I'm helping her through with her friends and also my friends. Um, one of my mates is in hospital because a drunk driver's hit him. Um, Go straight up. That's right. Yeah, shit's blowing up in my face, and obviously trying to maintain a, uh, trying to maintain my work shifts as well, which are stupidly long, to say the least. You know, I'm pulling. 10, 11, 10, anywhere between 10 to 12 hours, don't get me wrong. I'm used to that sort of stuff if I was doing uh, over the road, nice way type trucking, but I'm not, I'm doing shift work, so I'm in the process, we're trying to talk to them to try and alleviate some of the stress that I'm going through at the minute. Um, just to maintain just like some sort of, you know, balance and do the hobbies that I enjoy as well, which is gaming and stuff as well, um, you know. Obviously, uh, yeah, it, it's been it's been mad, but I'm not gonna let that I'm not I'm not gonna get into that and you know sort of let that drag me down um, because it's been a good it's been a good video actually and I've enjoyed I've enjoyed it, um, exploring the new Balkans the West Balkans DLC. I'm looking forward to Greece already. I, I that is one thing I am massively hyped for is Greece actually and Scandinavia. Um, or like the Nordic DLC, I suppose. I don't know what they would call it. I'd say Nordic, but yeah, it's like Northern Hemisphere, you know, Arctic Circle type <coughs> region. Um, thank you, mate. Um, 
but yeah, so looking forward to that. Um, looking forward to, you know, sort of just getting my th life back together. Um, I am actually going to be... I'm, I'm looking at other jobs, guys, to be honest, where it's slightly less hours, but obviously I can't really... Well, I, I'm lucky that I can actually afford to take less pay as well if I need to, but obviously, ideally, I don't want to, so I'm not going to... I, I don't want to compromise on that, on that and... I really am going to stay strict to that, but obviously something for less hours um, than what I'm doing at the moment would be ideal, to be quite honest. It would be a no-brainer, but until such a time, yeah. <coughs> until such a time, guys, I can't really, uh, I can, but I can't really afford to uh, leave where I am at the moment um, because of, well, the... Locations again, the location even isn't ideal, the commute, but you know, the work for what I do, it's it's easy enough. It's easy enough, I will give it that. So yeah. Um right, wait for this car to go, white cars, turning left. This car's let me out, thank you very much. Right. <laughs> Okay, so yeah. Um, <coughs> got quite a few people muted here. <laughs> what time are we? Okay, so we're arriving now. Perfect time timing for me to wrap it up, guys. Um, and then I'm going to get on to CRP here now. Get straight into recording uh, another episode for that. For Hopefully for you guys to see in the future. Right, uh, are we going in there or are we going in here? I'm gonna say in here. Stop. Go. Beacons on. <coughs> and then yeah. Looks like it's just a simple drive up. And then that's it. Ooh. Right. I could be looking too much into that. But that, that there tells me SCS may be looking into rigid chassis trucks. Or at least like uh, drawbar trailer combinations. It's like rigid trucks and then the drawbar combinations. <sighs> that's, that's curious. That's got me thinking as well, guys. So far, we've got Greece DLC, the Nordic DLC, potentially, <clears throat> which two teams are working on. And now that. That's interesting. That really is interesting, actually. So, yeah. I've never seen that before, I don't think. And if I have, I can't remember. I can't remember seeing it. So, I'll just leave it at that, to be fair. Right. Um, we'll just... We'll disconnect the trailer here and then yeah oh we leveled up happy days right um yeah they've got another one there as well that is curious actually just go ahead and lift our mid lift here Um, yeah, and that's not even pressed up to the bay, so, yeah, interesting, interesting, I like that, because specifically with those boxes as well, that means that potentially you could just be doing just a rigid truck and you wouldn't even need a drawbar trailer if they're doing it the way I think they're doing it, which is obviously the most common way, so, yeah, interesting. See you later, diesel trailer. Have fun at your new home. <clears throat> right, guys. Thank you for joining me. Um, until the next one. Uh, I hope to see you again. But, yeah. Until the next one. Look after yourselves. Take it easy. Stay well. Take care. And I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Cheers, guys.